I'm playing ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. I like ketchup. Uh, it's good. I like mustard more. You like mustard more really? than ketchup? Yeah. I think ketchup's more universal. I like, like you can't, I can't have, nobody do, has mustard I can't on their French fries. fries. See, see, I eat Ugh. mustard and I Jesus. eat ketchup and mustard. I usually don't ah. eat just ketchup. Do you ever have a mixy blend? Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, usually like it's mustard Starbucks? or both. Well, oh. that's because McDonald's uses both, and like my palate is raised on that. So God, I was reading I'm a book. That. I mean this book. Uh, good for you. Yeah, I'm just learning. It's hard. Go uh, nitro. Do you some mustard? I felt bad. I posted this picture of a bunch of books that I've bought there on my dresser, and everybody's like, "Where's Go Nitro?" Go Nitro is actually downstairs in my living room, which is a far more prominent place than in my bedroom above my. Is the underwear. downstairs in your living room trash can? I was gonna say, say, as long as it's not the trash can. <laughs> no, it's literally what I was about to say. I have like my display books. You never know where Jeff's gonna go. I have like know. I have like against the wall. I have my display books of all like the reference books and fancy mm -hmm. pretty books, hardbacks, and then Go Nitro is sitting on top. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, th hey, thanks for joining this episode of Off Topic. It's episode number 89, which is almost 90. Wow, incredible. Yeah. <laughs> our, our sponsors this week, boy, let me tell you, uh, I would only have to look down because they're already right there. We got Warby Parker and Nature Box. Mm, Nature Box. Mm. I'm wearing Warby Parker right now. But oh, I'm not God. wearing Nature Box. Are they the ones that go Thanks. dark in the sun? They are. And they're, they're, they're actually really nice. The, yeah. The, the, what, Everything what goes dark in the called? sun if you're in the sun long enough. Polarized lenses. That's White paints? It oh. It really helps with driving Well, Although the Texas. other day, you did come in. You were like halfway through leaving. Like you were like taking like 20 yeah. minutes to leave. And you came in and one of them was dark. Well, that's how it works. <laughs> especially <laughs> here. Like I walk out of the building and if I walk like... That like out of our office to stage five, you know, like the building is on my left and the sun is like beating <laughs> down on the right, so my right lens just darkens. <laughs> so when I walk into stage five, I have one lens dark and the that other. Makes, like a pirate. That makes more sense than you walking in out of doors sideways. That would be what I thought. Was can you yeah, tell that that's happening? Not or really. Is, or is it Not like really. it balances? I mean, only if you're like looking at the light. It's it's like sort of lightens the UV. Mm -hmm. It again, it just makes it easier for driving. It's way less of a glare. I mean, I can tell. Taking my glasses off and putting these on. They're really nice lenses. That's good to know because I used to, oh, I've had 20 20 vision, except for this past year. I'm just like, I can't read that and I can't read that either. So, like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to get some glasses. You should get Did glasses or fucking just give get up. Get good. Yeah, or just yeah, might just give up. Like, Did you forget how to read, maybe, though? Quite Can possibly. You, I don't think I read that or well. Does it just confuse you. It's, it's more boring. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, joining us on this week, episode 89 that I mentioned already, I'm your host, Michael, and joining us on the episode 89, joining us is Jeff and Jeremy, Alfredo, oh, hello, and Gavin. So, uh, you know, you might be familiar uh, with, the, with the Alfredo with the sauce. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. He's, he's been by the Achievement Hunter a couple of times at this point, visiting a, a bit. Time, time or two. Ta a time or two. I think this is his third time on the podcast? Third, second, second time. Third second. time being here in Austin. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is humid as fuck. Yeah, it's third warm. and last time being yeah. here in Austin. Well, yeah, guys sure. for sure. No, I mean last because he got a one-way ticket. Yep. Yeah. Were you going to mention that? Yeah. <laughs> He's hired! Hey! New Achievement Look Hunter! Look at the new Achievement Hunter! It, oh, it's Alfredo! Oh, you have to promise to always make that face, though. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. Blow him out! Perfect! Blow him out! Welcome to Achievement Hunter, yeah. Alfredo. So you are you are gonna be doing all the stream stuff. You're the stream guy. Is that the title? Stream guy? Uh, Alfredo stream the guy? The official title is content creator and editor, but yeah, I would be handling all that streaming Better, stuff. Otherwise, is, uh, well, I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, don't spoil it. I don't spoil stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Good. And now, and now I'm excited. Uh, I like Alfredo, and I like also Alfredo. I get. Now, I'm glad you guys like. Me. I would think I'm, it's not gonna happen. I want to say like, and now Ryan can chill the fuck out, like freaking out about you know doing all the server stream stuff. Work, yeah, yeah, he's do it, but he won't chill out. He'll he just freak out about he's, something else. There'll be something else to freak. He is too. like he's been freaking out. He's been yeah, he's more hot mood. than ever. He's just hot about everything ever. That mm -hmm. happens, and nothing is ever his fault. Something also. escalated to him. You, you, which you threw out the idea that there must be a third child. We don't. No, I think know. that was Gavin. Yeah, so yeah. Because yeah. he goes nuts when he has kids. Yeah, I'm huh. pretty convinced he's had a he squirt out a third one, and we don't know that. Yeah, because he's gone. Out a third he's one. gone mental recently. They all like deleting the audio well, debacle. I, somehow I knew well, you were gonna bring that up. Deleting the audio? Yeah, it was a thing. Well, I'm over it. All right, I'm over but it. But you just brought it up. What yeah. happened? Was that when I was gone? Yeah. Yeah. 
What well, happened? You're, you're going to be tale. starting something. Well, you, I, I'm, I'm not going to tell it right. You already tell brought it up, though. You, you know it. Michael, you tell the I'll story. Tell I'm involved. From, I'm too involved. I, I will tell from as much as an outsider's perspective as I can, although I was- You're an outsider? Well, I, we were all involved, <laughs> He's but, on the outside, but, he's looking in. But Ryan and Gavin were the ones like going Jeff, You guys got a fight? So Jeff, what? you be the decision maker on who was at fault. Okay, okay. alright. So let me, let me show, okay, Ooh. so. Alright. Exciting- Judge Jeff is presiding. Sure. Sure. Non uh, exciting to the audience right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, we shot the last Mario Party 8 video. Oh! Oh! Yeah, Bowser's, Bowser's something orbit. Bowser's fucko land or something. Yeah. Who was in it? It was I me. Need context. It was me, Gavin, Jeremy, and Ryan. Classic. You know, classic Mario Party. Like we've done Ryan Jack before, yeah, but yeah. we had Ryan. When Ryan one. was gone, we've put Jack in. So we had Ryan. So right off the bat, Ryan's like, fuck Nintendo. I hate Nintendo. That's what he does. Yes. But I hate Nintendo. Fine. I hate it. Yeah. So I'm right there with him. We set up the, the microphones. You know, okay. we, you know, we do the couch thing when we play mm -hmm. Mario Party. So we had my microphone extended. And then Gavin's microphone extended right towards us, and then Gavin wanted one on the floor to be like at the couch. Yes. So he extended uh, Jeremy's mic. Yep. Mic four. And then, and then I went and got a stand, put put the microphone in the stand. Gavin Gavin did most of the work setting up the audio. I got the stand for him. Good job, Gavin. He did. He did. He set up everything. So we had three microphones. So we shot the video, and then you know we had the cameras and stuff. But we shot the video, and then uh, we were stopping it. And I, I think you'll have to take it from here because I just wasn't paying attention to what the video was you, over. You filmed the video. We filmed the video. How'd it go? Great. Good video. Good video. Good video. Uh, hour, hour and video. hour and four minutes. Views. No. Don't lie. <laughs> but it's his fifth day, but they don't know that. Yeah. It was say your first yeah. day. But, um, you've, been here, you've been here a bit. What was that? An hour and a half, maybe? Something like that. Okay. I don't so know. It was, it was a longer solid, than normal video. It was Mario video. Party. It was 20 turns. Because yeah. that, so, uh, that feeds into the story. That it's a longer than normal video. So uh, we stopped it. And then, and then, and then, like I just went back to my desk, and then yelling started happening. Well, really. at first it was between Ryan and Jack because yes. they were just trying to decide what happened with Jeremy's mic. They were like, "No, no, no, we didn't use that one." But that was the one I'd unplugged and extended to the couch. I yes. should, I should sidestep this too. When we record audio, generally we have seven tracks going. I think, or do we have to eight? I think yeah. we, have we have to have eight. eight. We well, have eight, eight going, and we delete what we don't. Use. We have eight We're going, and, and that's, that's one from everyone's yeah. desk. It takes up a whole. It's. And there's also some weird thing now where audio. Audacity. Is that what we use Audacity? Yeah. So Audacity fucks up Not sometimes. This. This maple and does like, have we lost that sugar pine video? That, that is a thing, but yeah. that has nothing to do with this. Uh, so we record it on eight tracks, and then generally say, like, if we do a Let's Watch and we only use three microphones, we'll delete all the other tracks before you export it, because then you're just making the video, like, you're making it bigger. Or Especially the, the file when size. it's a long it file. It takes it's a, a very long time to save the yes. tracks. It, it, it's like at the difference of it takes a minute to it might take four minutes. So it's like you don't need those, you just delete them. So then um, somehow, through a conversation between Ryan and Jack, uh, uh, Jeremy's microphone, the one in the center of the couch, was deleted. Was it Mike 4 that got deleted or Mike 6 that got deleted? No, I think four. it was four. Four? Because the reason they were asking the one at the couch. Oh, yeah. We turned all the mics up and we were about to stream and they were deciding which mics to turn back down. And I was like, make sure you turn Jeremy's down too because we, we blasted that to mic the couch. And then Ryan was like, we didn't use Jeremy's mic. Which yes. was at his feet the whole video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he had already told Jack at that point we only used uh, mics five and six. And he got Jack to delete four. So Jack wasn't in the video. Jack did the audio thing. He's like, I'm audio guy. You tell me. It's right I'll, next, I'll right next to his right desk. So he does, so the, he does the audio thing very Ryan well. Ryan just told him we only used five and six. So he deleted all the other tracks. And then. Really? So he deleted <laughs> all the other tracks. And uh, then it, Gavin was like. Did the exact thing you were talking about. We're like, you pissing so on adjectives. You, no, whatever. he used three adjectives in a row. Um, and so they were uh, pleb, plank, and plum. I used all of those at yeah. varying points <laughs> throughout like a five minute period. I was like, Ryan, you plank. Well, it's not an adjective. So that's you, what he called. It's like I was a bit hot because he's don't like, delete. you you can't delete that, you plum. And then well, he, yeah, his yeah. his reasoning was yeah, nobody plank. told me that we were using that mic. So my opinion then was. Why are you telling Jack to delete tracks if you don't know which mics are in use? He had a very odd... Uh, Ryan, as you know, gets combative. Um, yeah. He but was he trying was to blame like, me and Jack. It was like, Jack definitely wasn't He was like, okay, it's not my fault because I'm not the one that deleted the tracks. Jack deleted the tracks. Right. But then Jack was like, well, I just deleted and Gavin. Jack's like, I'm just doing my job. He's like, yeah, I'm just deleting the tracks oh, that you man. told me to delete. And then Ryan's uh, argument to that was like, well... The last time we played, I set it up, and we only used these 
audio tracks. All right, all right. So then Gavin's like, right, but but we didn't do that this time. So then Ryan went from like, well, it's not my fault, I didn't know how it was set up, to then, well, well you guys set it up wrong, but also I still, I told Jack to delete. Okay, okay, okay. It was like he was all running right. around the table with every, like he, so had, he had like every argument that you can't use all of them. Did is do we have a video? We have a video because we've got we had the we also had the Awu this camera thing. Total non-issue. It's a non-issue. It's not a non-issue. But it's irrelevant to the point that Ryan it was a miscommunication. Mm. Right, but that's not the point now. The point now is Ryan like screaming it's everyone's fault except for his when wow. it's just like we could have just said nothing. You can't have the argument of it's not my fault. I didn't know what was happening, and I also I'm the one that we told all him to delete know it. that Ryan we do one or the other. Ryan doesn't like to be wrong. Yes. He bristles at the idea of being. To which, I will say, this was right before we started streaming, so this is why I said, like, I wasn't that involved in it. Like, we ended the video, and it was like, we were late for streaming, like we always are. Like, we ended the video at, like, 3.05. Well, until this guy shows up, yeah, now we'll no, be Well, he was here. sitting there waiting already. for us to waiting. be done. Yeah. <laughs> Off to a great start. Yeah. 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 And uh, I was just like, table it, table it, we gotta do the fucking stream. And, stream. and fucking Ryan and Gavin were, like, hot into the stream. And then in a classic Gavin like way, the stream started and he kept like throwing in like references. Yeah, right like after though, right before the stream started, he goes, oh, I'm over it. I'm over it. Ooh. That's what he said. I'm over when it. Just Gavin like he said, said he was over it and then brought it up. I'm gonna tell podcast. you right now. Who said I'm over it? Gavin? Yep. Yeah. That's a Gavin move. That means he is not over it. You know when <laughs> oh, I a hundred percent Right, you know when you've had a bowl of spaghetti and you're done with it, you tip what's left into the bin. I'm over the spaghetti. There's still a bit of like sauce in the bowl. You gotta scrape that out. That yeah, except you're scraping it out and uh, flinging it at Ryan. Yeah. yeah, you're shooting the sauce <laughs> at Ryan. You're not helping. No, he wasn't. He got I, I know. We're, he's, he's a he's a needly little mint. I know. I know. <laughs> we, were, we were in the video. We're streaming for like five minutes talking about this and that, whatever, whatever. It's a plummy and it's little always, plank you know, that one. Like, like, Ryan, delete the audio. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Several times it wasn't that stream. bad overall. I just hate it when people delete stuff. Yeah, you I do. Just, no, I totally agree. Because we've done it. Did Ryan, did he secure delete it? It's gone. He didn't it, Trevor it. We, we tried to get him back. Yeah. Just, yeah. Mm. It here like, is going to be fun. Easily, yeah. <laughs> don't delete something accidentally. Do yeah, not delete it was something. Easily, it wasn't that big of a deal. But Ryan like blew up. I was like, it's your fault. It's your fault. You. He just went like, you, Ryan. I'm like, everyone's fault. I try, you. I try to avoid those Ryan arguments. At, well, then you at, and I just kind of sat out of it. Right. And we're like, like, and, all, and so we're in the fucking video that he just <laughs> deleted the audio for. Listen. Last night I was going through YouTube and I like to watch like achievement hunter compilations uh -huh. because like that's how I find moments that I forgot happened, like Bucket, right? And uh, <laughs> so I was like. It, there was a uh, Jackbox compilation, and I was like watching through that, and it got to the fucking magenta argument. Remember that? It was like, what are shades of purple? Yeah. And I was listening to me and Ryan go back and forth at it, and I was like, I fucking hate this. And like, you when guys I were arguing from two different places, by the way. When I scrolled down through the comments, all it was was comments about magenta and arguments, and like, Ryan was right. Nope, Jeremy was right. No, they're both right. They're you both were, wrong. You were, you were both right. <laughs> I was just like, oh my fucking god, I hate this. I, I love that. I think that's great. And then I had, and then a thought went through my head while I was looking at the Jackbox stuff. What's the biggest complaint people have about our Jackbox games? Oh, that we name everyone Gavin. Right, that we don't use our real names. Yeah. So we did that one time. We've done one video in which we all had our own names very recently. Yeah, it was just Jeff. Lost the audio. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one where the audio got messed We up. lost the audio to that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one with uh, sugar pine. That was the sugar pine one. Yeah, I guess that yep. was that. Yeah. Well, that's that why. One? That's no, that wasn't in... delete. That was a fucked up. That was the uh, the, uh, the uh, hurts all got or whatever it is like the. It was the real ninety six versus yeah, forty it was. whatever. It was, it was a ninety six versus forty whatever. So 48, it sounds like like Ryan made a mistake. It happens. Not a big deal. Here's it my happens. here's my judgment. Ryan made a mistake. Sounds like uh, it wasn't a big deal. It happens. No big deal. It's just miscommunication. Uh, then Ryan, uh, who can't be wrong. Uh, has to defend himself vociferously, mm -hmm. uh, which is fine. Everybody knows that that's a, a character trait that Ryan has. We, yeah. we can all navigate that. Sure. But Gavin was just hot enough to be a dick. Oh, sure. He was poking. So Gavin had to, to keep, keep poking, poking the bear. He was yeah. poking yeah. the bear. So uh, I'm going to say that uh, Ryan was... Uh, this is a combination of 50, two shit personalities. 52% wrong, and Gavin was 48%. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wait, listen. That adds up. That's 100. Yeah. Listen, yeah. all we needed was like, oh, my bad. I thought, I didn't know we were using it. Sorry. 
We'll never get that out of Ryan ever. And but no, what well, we also don't need is this from Gavin. Oh well, that's six hours. Yeah, yeah, you're also you'll never because even get if that from no, Gavin. I live with He'll a little shit. Do it. Even <laughs> if in a rare twist of fate, Ryan said, "Oh, sorry, yeah, fuck that out. That was a mistake." Okay, but Gavin what? would still go. How could you make that mistake, that's you true. plum? That's and true. then it would keep that's going. Yeah. But here's the thing: if if you just go, ah, oh, well, don't worry about it. Is it more likely to happen again? No. No. Or if you like drive it home. That we shouldn't do that. Then they really hate funny. you. Not really. How are you still in a relationship if that's how you approach things? <laughs> I don't really have those kind of arguments. I'm the same. I drive things home. Yeah, it's I, like, I want to make sure it doesn't happen again. Like, so I'm like, every, let's, it's like make the whole room aware. We need to be better at like I, which I, tracks. I we agree with what you're saying. The but problem's it, already there. You're talking about Ryan, so you're that doesn't make Ryan. sense, yeah. right? Like, like your logic works. Like with no context, but that applied to Ryan. It might work with a child. It'll never happen ever. <laughs> How many times, like anything? I mean, we've, we're dealing with that Ryan now with fucking Sky Factory because Jack has played it outside of work, so he actually knows how it works. Jack knows now. ten times more than other people. The second Jack questions anything Ryan has done in Sky yeah. Factory, is like, yeah, you don't know what you're doing. You're, you know, just don't leave my stuff alone. It doesn't make any sense. Like I, I, I know what I'm doing more than you do. Anytime ever, like when Ryan was the only stream guy, like Ryan set up a stream stuff and we're all like, oh, I don't, I don't know in the office. Look, then Jeremy started streaming and Jeremy's like, oh, actually, you could do that. And Ryan's like, wrong, you're wrong. See, you're but wrong, the difference is then at that point I go, all right. No, but it has <laughs> happened where Jeremy will get it to work and go, no, Ryan, look, actually, it did work. And Ryan goes, oh, we're doing this. Huh. That's as close. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. This is not. You get, you get, uh, this huh. is not a dog pile on Ryan's scenario. Maple syrup. We it's a we welcome to achievement hunter. We don't want to walk back in the office after that. Good. Ryan's that fine. Good. He's a good dude. I don't give a I'm fuck about anybody. I will here. say though that you've also been annoyed that stuff gets deleted. True. It's annoying when you work and you do something that you put your performative effort into. Yeah, and like the hard bit is but done. Again, but again, it sounds like you still have the video. Yeah, but that logic gets even more annoying when the person who deleted it's like, I don't care. It's not my fault. That's when it gets real. Well, there was also like on that. See Gavin when it's like Trevor kind of deleted something, but then didn't say it's not my fault. Okay, he was like, I tried and then couldn't get something, so I deleted it. We sort of tried. Sort of tried, and you two. That poor guy. Poor guy. Railed on him. <laughs> so I want to do. We That's worked hard on that video. <laughs> so I want to do some play acting here. Jeremy, I would like you to play the part of Meg. Okay. <laughs> I want to see if this is what it's like. And if you, since you drive stuff. Okay. Up. All right, Meg. I thought I told you to empty the dishwasher. You said you'd do it, so I did it yesterday. I didn't have time, and I was uh, I was hoping that you could kind of take care of it. Do you think you'd do it tomorrow? Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that! I'm not so much more than you I'm going to go back to my house! I'm going to go back to your house! You're going to go to your house! You're going to go to your house! You're taking you out of there! So is that what it's like? Have you drilled a hole in my house? It was similar. That was similar to Gavin and Ryan. Yeah, no, at home, actually, I have to back down immediately. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. She will fuck you up. She will kill me. Yeah. 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 I don't think you've ever driven any point home. Ryan's got knives, we Meg <laughs> uses knives. It's a big, big difference there. There's been a couple times, and it's usually like Mario Party related, like years ago, where uh, maybe Gavin's driving a point home, and then Meg will like specifically mention several times like how bad the ride home's gonna be. Like yeah. for Gavin. When yeah. Or just hit me in the face. Yeah. Like mm. mid <laughs> Yeah, or that. Nah, it's she, not that bad. But she does slap you around. So well. Funny. So there's well. been, uh... <clears throat> Meg is like the me that gets to hit you. I'm like, get him, hit him, slap him, do it. Yeah, you, I feel like you enjoy that too much. I love it when Meg, oh, like, fucking, fuck, you dude, dude, awesome. dude, when Meg is, like, screaming at you when we're playing Mario Party, it's my favorite. Like, you losing is always good or, like, doing poorly, but when you fuck over Meg and she's just like, what the fuck, and just, like, unloads on you, it's the best. And it happens it's, every time we play, because you always screw her over. It's times like that where I wish I had a shell so that I could just <laughs> retreat into it. Like, you mean, like, a battle out. shell? Yeah, a battle shell. You can't do that though. When you're, when you're in a relationship playing video games together, you gotta give your spouse that like that win, that lead. No, no, you don't. No, I, no, I get no. shit for all. I can't yeah. like. I'll be, I'll be in trouble. Of, first of all, no. Second of all, um, see, there's there's like Gavin and Meg who they always have this strategy. For, like when they come over, is like, all right, it's always us first, right? Like if it's me and you. Always over Michael and Lindsay, like fuck them over before each other, and then like you know, yeah. we'll always yeah. do better that way. And they always come in with that plan, and then the second Gavin has an opportunity to get ahead, but it fucks Meg, he's like, 
Meg, I have to. I have to. And she's like, motherfucker, we talked about it on the way over, you motherfucker. And he's like, I got to. Or like he'll roll a die, he'll use like an item that might fuck her. And then and then he's like, I probably won't even get the number. And then he'll get it. Yeah. And he's like, swap places one space in front of the star, I'll swap with her and I'll feel really bad. About yeah, it. but she feels like you don't feel bad enough. Not bad enough to not. Oh, he do does it. later. But well, yeah. we always agree to take you down. Like on the way to your yeah. house with discussing it and all yeah. that stuff. And even if I screw her over to take you down and I win, I'll get in the car, I'll be like, we got him, and she'll just be like, Yeah. That also scenario See? you just described almost never, ever happens. Ever. I've won a few times. You've won a few times, but rarely was it like you two teamed up and took me down. You just like, you teamed up and then you trampled all over Meg. And then once or twice you walked away with a victory and she was not fucking happy about it. Now, Lindsay, on the other hand, fucking lunatic. There's no, I don't have any conversations with her. I laugh that you guys come over, like, got this plan, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what's gonna happen is Lindsay's gonna fuck me over at every chance she could get. Uh, she'll fuck you over, she'll fuck herself over. Yeah. And um, one out of 10 times, she'll win the game somehow. She is a goddamn <laughs> lunatic. She's a psychopath. In every aspect of life. And it's joyous. It's pretty wild to watch her play Mario Party. And Mario Party is a game where it's like, clearly the game, Cheats in a way like like that shit isn't random, you know like you pick a path and it's like oh The person in last got a star like the game the game looks at itself It's like all right. What should I do here to like fucking just piss people? I'm gonna give that guy a star the yeah. next turn It's not like what lucky stars So when Lindsay goes like off the grid and is insane sometimes the game's like Let's fucking throw her some stars, Dax. I don't know what she's doing. This is impressive. Where it's like she'll choose some path that is only bad for her. It's like if you go that way, you get a blue space. If you go that way, you land on Bowser. And you have two stars and 100 coins. And she's like, I'm going to Bowser. He's like, that, that's bad. That's the bad space. It's the worst space in the game. You don't want she lands on it. He's like, here's 50 coins. It's fucking ridiculous. It is. <laughs> That's why I can't do Mario Kart, because it punishes you for being in first. Oh, yeah. And I fucking hate that. That's yeah. why I love Mario Kart. Mario Kart, because I'm always in last. Damn it. Are you, you typically the winner? You, you can't come back from last, though. Uh, I am not, because I'm, I'm that guy that, like, really tries to nail down the courses and the shortcuts and the timing, and then I'll be playing, and I'll just get hit with every blue shell, like, everything. Yeah, a lot of that shit doesn't mean anything you when can you're be well like prepared. people. Yeah. You can be very well prepared in first place. You can have, like, the horn or, like, a fat stack of shells, but the lightning Bad. will just ruin it. Lightning the light, and, you, There's and, no and point and holding on to anything. boo. Yeah. It's just like, oh, you got three red shells? Now you don't. Or like the worst boo ever is when you're right about to cut across the grass and you're like three mushrooms. I'm in the grass. Oh, I just lost them all. Yep. <laughs> now you're on a fucking lawnmower. It's worse than your favorite part of Mario Kart. When we don't play it. Oh, so every day. Well, we so don't all play the time. It. Yeah, yeah. We, we've never played it once yet. It's my office. favorite. Every day is my favorite. Well, we played oh. it on the Wii U for a video, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. I Wii, edited it. But not, that not, thing. not eight or yes. deluxe. We haven't played yet. Well, YouTube been hooked on Siege, which I love because that is my game. Who's your? Yeah, who do you we play? all been playing? Uh, Ash. Jess was playing Ash. I'm not Ash's, playing Ash. Uh, took the glasses and that like. She has the grenade. Small hitbox, super so fast. Yeah. Because then I'll just I'll just blow a wall and just run straight in there. And... I've been uh, I've been trying to improve my Tachanka. Tachanka, such a ridiculous. Lord Tachanka, <laughs> been shanking people, dude. Dude, is he... the head? Do you know if the head is bulletproof? Or is it his head? Yeah. No, you could. Okay. Yeah, you could headshot. Oh, you get bent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait looks till he has like a elite skin that's just it looks, it looks wicked. We've yeah. been doing tons of get goods and like get good four, I think just came out. Three, yeah, three. Out of, no, out of, no, I think four. I think four is coming out. Four is coming. Oh, it's this, week. Out oh, this week. week. I think I'm actually. In they there. mentioned it on Awu. That's what it was. That's why it's in my head. Are we just keeping up with the naming convention of getting good at? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Get I, don't, well, good I don't know how the bad is good. The thing about those, right? That's not all of them, right? Like we're skipping around. Right? I think so, because we filmed about 10 of them. Like, Get Good 3 is like Get Good 9. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, so. like, really, like, as far as the audience, because we filmed so many that we just can't, they're not all videos. And, and, and so we just keep playing several, and playing and There's several Get Goods, playing. there's like, this will be Get Good 11. We film it, we lose all three rounds, and we're like, all right, let's delete Ugh. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, didn't, didn't get good. I, I have no idea, like, how many I will we're say, up to. The but. most recent thing we filmed was for Ubisoft, for their channel. And Let's play presents. Let's play presents, and we got good. You know what? You know what was? I will say this is. I wasn't in. Well, this is That's this is also was. like this is a good indicator. Because you're our primary offense. Go on, tell Fredo shut up. It sucks yeah. for the audience, right? Especially when they're like trying to give tips and shit, because we are like months, we're weeks or months yeah. ahead of what they're commenting on, right? So yeah. it's like, oh, you can't do this, this, and that. It's like, well, no one does that anymore. 
It's the same thing with Seven Days. You know, it's like, all right, here's some advice. It's like, great, we filmed nine episodes after this one. <laughs> or it's Sky Factory. You haven't the same seen way. yet. You know, Sky Factory. There's like nine in the can before it comes out. Um, but the the video on Ubisoft, it's gonna jump ahead all of our get good. So if you want to see a little glimpse of, of where, like, we are today. where we're at now, the furthest we've been. Check out that friggin' and Ubisoft then video. We're which back I didn't think that in comes time. To we'll go back in time to being not able. As Rainbow Six we'll be fucking terrible. It's so fun though that even if we play for an hour and don't get a video, it still doesn't really feel like a waste because we had tons of fun and we probably. Yeah, I mean it is a waste, but it doesn't a feel like one. It, content wise, yeah. it's, it's just waste. Trevor walks in and we're like, "Oh, it wasn't a waste," and he goes, "What'd you get?" And we're like, well, "It was fun though." <laughs> <laughs> I thought it feels like a little bit of a waste. But it's in that same vein. When you broke that fucking poster today? No, fuck that. That thing. was a waste. Fuck We're that. gonna get you know, that I was fixed. kind of, I was kind of trying not to insult that on camera because someone spent time making it, and I don't want to insult artwork. I fucking hate it. <laughs> well. <laughs> We're gonna Jeez. get it reframed. I, I hate it. <laughs> I smashed the frame that it was in today. Which they didn't send the frame. No, he bought, he the, bought frame. the frame. Poor stuff. Um, but it's as close as I can get to the actual still poster. Good. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and request a new frame. Yeah. Uh, I was ho it. I was hoping that we were gonna unbox a knife in Awu today so that I could test it on that. <laughs> so Real really a well. specs front instead of glass <laughs> next <Yeah>. time. <laughs> um, but. This office is breaking my body. We've already. released. You're, yeah. Yeah. We've released one helping, episode. Man. One episode of Seven Days. Soul. I know. I've been looking at of the new, the new seven day series. And I actually, in part nine, I discovered something <laughs> that was very obvious that I should have known. And uh, you, I've basically been working for nine parts to achieve this thing, which uh -huh. I have found out I can't. Uh -huh. But I realized in part nine, <laughs> and only one part has come out. So every comment in every video is going to be like, Gavin's For the next like, four We've months. recorded yeah. eight yeah. unreleased parts of seven days. It's really fun! It's, it's really so fun. much fun. The other thing is if we film, like, we get the threshold over that, like, we have eight extras now, right? Like, one came out, we're editing uh, part two right now, and then we've got seven more. We need to get, like, three or four more then we can do a whole week again. Then we can do a week. Then, we'll, then we'll have like three Trevor, in Trevor came in, saw us filming seven days, and it must be one of the things he hates to see. So when he walks in and we're filming seven days, Rainbow Six, or Sky Factory, he must hate it. <laughs> and like, so he- all we're filming. It's all we're filming. And he like walks in, and he saw that, and he sat down in the chair at the other end of the room and just started working. And <laughs> during it, we're like, yeah, you know, I know we filmed a lot of episodes. And we're like, yeah, we're doing a week. You know, we're gonna release them all in a week. And Ron goes, Oh yeah, Trevor, we're doing a week, we decided. <laughs> Without you, we've made the call. I think someone might have said in, I think we were in the video, and they said, and they said someone said, did we tell Trevor? And someone was like, he's in the room. That's true. No, I said, <laughs> all right, should I tell Trevor that we're doing a week? And you went, well, I mean, let's record this part first, because then we have to. <laughs> that did happen, that did happen. And then he came and in, then the he came in the during the that party. video, yeah. Well, there's gonna be a lot more so siege because they have the new map and the new, uh, three new operators. Three new operators. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be awesome. What do we know about them? Uh, what? three? They're yeah. Japanese or something? Well, no. two, two of them are, right? Two of them are? Two, no, two of them no, are the from, Japanese uh, are already out. out. That's Echo and Habana. I think they're Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And then, oh, we're just stupid. And then Which is odd, because it's not a country. <laughs> and then since <laughs> we had Operation Health, yes. we get a third one, which I think is the Polish? The Polish. They split those up. But that's two. We did, that's what we were talking about. So, uh, yeah. will Polish. they release yeah, one on their own? So they're so they're, they're going to release three, three of unbalanced. Of them. No, because in the the next batch of ops, we'll get another Polish op added onto that. Interesting. Mm. Got to yeah, yeah. got to split the Polacks up. Yeah, you got to split them up. Can't have two together. I it's have no idea what they are or what they do. I was reading. There's rumors. There's online. a lot of speculation. There's a lot of speculation. One of them's called Dazzler. I like. <laughs> I don't know what that. I think Dazzler he, has some. Has like, this is the rumor. Like this is the rumors online. Flash, because I don't. We don't know anything. Flash about them with their sore bouncy ball arm. Um, it has been a week for me. I can't lift my arm over this because and of my this. fucking. You <laughs> hands up at this table if you've got Jeremy. Throwing Jeremy out. broke my neck today and all of. I didn't do it. No, that was Ryan. Ryan broke my neck today. But don't. It wasn't his fault though. <laughs> Do you, have, do you have a sore Body. arm? Not really. Okay. Mine's oh my God, little. Do my, arm. my my arm, if anything, has been sore. Like I'm already sore from the fucking child. This is my carry arm. Mm. So I'm like, damn, my right arm is just like sore. So we got kids um, getting heavy. I would assume we got like 500 bouncy balls sent to us. In we a got a couple hundred. Yeah. yeah. And I, I decided it'd be a fun game to see if you could throw it off the floor, bounce it off the wall, and land it. I was trying to aim for Jack's head at first, and then I was like, probably Everybody's head time. got hit. Yeah, yeah, guess what? The game would be over already. Yeah. yeah. So then hitting the head a lot. Someone sent me this nice mug, so I balanced it near your desk. Because you I was out of the room. Yeah, you weren't very So it was about. like, let's put it on Michael's desk. Yeah, but because yeah. The, the giant penis ruined the $100 hole, the new $100 hole is this mug in the middle of all the desks. 
and you have to throw a bouncy ball at the floor, off the wall, into the cup. And uh, I would say I've thrown about 800 bouncy balls. Probably, Probably. Yeah. hundreds. That's yeah. a fun game. I hundreds. walked in, I threw, I threw one, and then my second one, I, I like ding the top it's rim of the cup, and I was like, oh! that's, that's strangely oh! happened. He'd be chasing that ding for the shots. next two weeks. I know. Like Alfredo got really close. Barney got really close. Barney, Jeff Barney got threw fucking one, close. and it rim the it, cup. I played it back in in frame by frame off that video we made yesterday. It went straight in the cup, rolled around, and flew out. Which I guess doesn't count. No, but that no, was not obviously one and count. only shot. <sighs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I would be more like angry if that was my one shot. Yeah, he yeah he was he was annoyed. He's like, what do I get? I'm like, you you get you almost made it. That's <laughs> yeah. what you get. You get it's the a gold star. Also, if we're not filming, it doesn't count. Not only does it count, yep. and I, I everyone who was in the room, I angrily stated because because <laughs> you and Gavin specifically can't fucking stop doing it. Yeah. you keep doing it even when we're not filming. I, I, just because of the destruct, I like destruction. Well, that's yes. It yes. Is, it's it's destroyed. Like, what could these destroy? Just every small figure or any sort of like cup anything. or anything just gets knocked over, and all you hear is like, like we all have like little Lego things. <laughs> You just hear it like shattering to pieces. I haven't. I stopped picking things up on my desk. I think Jeremy has the worst, given his placement. Your of the placement room. is the worst, and, the worst. and I would say you and I have the most like stupid figures on our desk. We have a lot of crap. On I think Lindsay, desk. if she was at her desk, would be in the. Oh, position. she'd be dead by now. Well, yeah. she'd be like, she'd be dead from the hits to the back of the head, like yeah. the bounce off. And the we wall. just have drilled into like, her spine. I will say, yeah, got the best. Of all the stuff we've done in that room, we haven't actually broken much equipment. We've lost a light a couple of times, and. I lost a monitor when you kicked my desk in half. But in terms of all the stuff on our desks, nothing else is broken. No, I mean, which yeah. is insane considering what we've done to this. And, but I mean, these world. aren't going to break any equipment. Uh, no, no, I know that's what's great about it. But although what, I did switch your, uh, what I did buy twenty five hundred more. You did. <laughs> if you get it in the ball and we're not filming, not only does it not count, if you tell anyone you did it, we're all going to lie and say you did. <laughs> yeah, we're going to all yeah. deny it. Like, if if someone comes, didn't happen. If someone like, comes he's into fucking the room, lying. yeah, we'll just absolutely deny it flat. You'll be like, I did it, I got it. Like, nah, he's no, full of shit. Just, just because like it's an insult that we didn't get the video. Yeah. It's like, fuck you. How dare you? <laughs> we were filming, like you said, we were filming something else when Bernie came in. Yeah. And I happened to and be And you happen to like right glance over there, and we're all like, oh, because the best thing is it's like so precarious. It's it's the, it's a trophy that I have. Like the. the oh, yeah. I, I knocked it clean off the, the trophy. Uh, yeah, the a, fan, a fan sent oh, us sorry. like the trophies a couple months ago in Awu. We each had like some little dinky trophy. I Mine's threw on mine my away. desk. I, I'm sad to admit. Mine's on my <laughs> desk, and you put the cup in the trophy on my desk, so if you hit it at all, it fucking wobbles. Like, yeah. you can yeah. see That's how you know yeah. somebody hits it. It's a damn hard shot. So I've decided I mean, now. The, the the lip of the cup is like maybe that big. Well, I didn't know it actually bouncing. bounces when it goes in, so that's like... It's even harder. It's, it's, like it's even, super hard. You it's gotta like get such a lucky bullshit. bounce when it's Yeah, there, it really right? is. It's very similar to like ring toss, where it's like, you nailed it perfectly, oh, and it just bounced right off anyway. Yeah. Uh, I've I've decided that if we record more of those videos, which uh, I know we will, if you guys throw them at the wall, that I'm just not gonna throw anymore. I'm just gonna sit at my desk with a webcam facing my desk. I'm oh yeah, just, just gonna, to see the chaos. I'm just gonna play games and Gavin, do work. Also, that reminded me, because you did it when we did Ring Toss. We had that video of us at Bush Gardens when we were doing the Let's Play Live tour, and uh, you enacted the same technique that you tried with the bouncy balls, which was Dump a, an entire bucket filled with the yeah. rings. I like the occasional shotgun approach. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, did not work in either scenario. Out. Yeah, you threw like back when the bag was full. You know, remember yeah. those days when you were just pulling from the bag? Oh, it was so nice. Before we were crawling all over the there. floor. That's when you were like, "Fuck it, I'm throwing 10. Yeah, it was that's like the worst part. Is like trying to fucking recover balls. It takes so long, and man. And every time you bend down to pick up a ball, you know there's one coming right for your butthole. Oh, well, dude. I got, hit, also I got filmed. hit in the anus so many times yesterday. <laughs> That's we what also filmed to... a sequel. Uh, a live action sequel, kind of. Oh, to yeah. Flinchless Kiki Dude. Flinchless Kiki Dude. Uh, yep. Got yeah, a sequel. That's called You want to announce it? Well, yeah, Flinchless Bouncy Dude. That's it. That's the name. <laughs> so just, hey, just try and figure out what that is. Flinchless Bouncy Dude. Hey, Alfredo. Yeah. How uh, how is how's it, how's your first week been? Uh, it's been good. I will say that like Austin is kind of similar. I, I was born and raised in San Francisco, mm -hmm. so Austin's very similar in terms of like you know 
food culture and like having liberal people idiots. being liberal and everything like that. Uh, humidity tarts. sucks. Yep. I'm used to 65. Cold. Slightly different weather. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, so that, that's, that's August. That's too, been so It's fucking brutal. Yeah, you but, um, a bad time. No, it's been chill. I got a crash course into the uh, you guys like workflow and stuff like that. So I'm like workflow. I'm yeah. that. <laughs> I'd like I'd like a crash course. Sky factory <laughs> seven days siege. You do Pitch need to travel. come into the main room and throw like five or six hundred balls to really get up on our level of. You won't. Yeah. Well, I mean, I came right through two and it almost got there. Yeah, just do another 500. Do another 500. Yeah, <laughs> start chucking them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll come in but with like a full the holding them all. Yeah, all right. I feel like you won't be fully integrated until you get kind of hurt. Yeah, well, I think you hit with the. I get like, hit in the neck. Or like, <laughs> like until you're fucking pissed at something. Yeah, until you're like thinking about quitting. When you come in hot, like, I hate this fucker, then it's like, nice. I'm sure it'll be like wins. three weeks from now, I'm like, guys, we got to stream. I feel like it's not even so much when you come in hot, it's when you go home hot. That's all. You get home and you're like, ah. I don't think I ever go home. Hot. Really? I go home hot all the time. Yeah. You really? Why? Yeah. What's so really? wrong with your job? Nothing. Why'd you look at me when you said nothing? <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing, Gav. I'm convinced right, Jeremy hates me. Yeah. I don't hate Jeff. I definitely do not hate you. I feel like in the room. I don't hate you either. Like in the room, whoever I like the most hates me the most. That's how it's like. It's like, it reminds me of the. Yeah, I don't know if you ever saw this episode of The Simpsons so you where like Mo and Lisa become friends. <laughs> And Mo's like, listen, Lisa, I don't like you and you don't like me. And she goes, I like you, Mo. And he goes, oh, really, sweetie? Well, I like you too, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel, Jeremy. But Ryan definitely doesn't like Gavin. I feel like probably mm -hmm. the most. Yeah, out of yeah I, I would agree with that. He mm. rivals my distaste of Gavin with how much he hates See, him. again, that's the difference. See, you go home, you just go home, and you're like, fucking Gavin. Ryan is just like, I hate you, like in uh, the office. That's the difference. I, I go home and see you yeah, for yeah. a little while. I mean, you see that work, too. That was the last I, I do, time. yeah, but I'm just quietly. I know, I can tell. I you see Jeremy that. goes like this. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah, I don't think seethe is the right <laughs> word that you do to me. Did I, did uh, I, what do you do to him? That voodoo. Like that he, he said, when, he said, when was the last time you go home and seethe? Like I don't go home. I go like, <sighs> I go, you know. But I, I do sometimes like, go home. Like, like, I go home and be like, <laughs> gadget. Oh, <laughs> God, God. I feel like the thing <laughs> that annoys you most though is when we can't film. What, okay, can't, yeah, not being able to film definitely annoys me the most. Like, I was pissed off the other day, which was perfect, because then I had to film Ad Goblin Jr. I would say Excellent. the thing that upsets him just as much is when he doesn't, when not everybody's 100% filming. Yes. That's That experience. really pisses I me off. I can tell when he gets mad. How often does that happen? Yeah, no shit. When, when we're filming something and someone's, like, not wanting to film it and really, like, dogs it for the, in the video because they're not, like, they're, like, Thinking the game is stupid or something, and I've done that like once or twice, and I try not to do it anymore. I hate that. Well, sometimes That's why I don't do it in Sky Factory. Fucking slit my throat. In Sky Factory, okay? <laughs> I don't know what, how you like Seven Days so much, but hate Sky Factory it's interesting. so much. There's it's interesting. It's because it's Michael not. missed a, a bunch it's, and no, doesn't it's have also, a task. It's also Minecraft in general. Like, there are, yes. there are two I don't fucking play Minecraft. I don't have the. It's, it's always been the fucking Minecraft retard. It's just like, ah, I just can't get bothered. Ah, I just can't bother. And now it's like, hey, you know all the stuff you don't know? It's a billion times more complicated. And I'm there like, are ah, four obsessions yeah. in Achievement Hunter right now. And those are Sky Factory, well, I find stuff, Seven I find Days, stuff to do. Siege, and GTA. Like, if we could just play those four games. Like that, and I'm no, fine yeah. being obsessed with three of them. I Michael, just... d with, with two exceptions, Michael's not crazy about Sky Factory. He does a great job of being a professional on camera, and I, I don't know if you guys have picked up on it. Jack is not crazy about Siege. He's losing it on Siege. Mm. Interesting. He's, lo he's losing his enthusiasm. You fired. Which is a shame because he's getting oh, really good at Montana. Because he's not. He's not I mean, I'm kind of losing my enthusiasm. I mean, I'm kind of losing my enthusiasm on Siege 2, but I'll still play it. I just won't play you, it in my free time. You more than anyone, you lose your enthusiasm when you lose. You you care because you're good at first person shooters. Like, Jeremy plays Call of Duty yeah. and he wins. So, like, he gets pissed when he loses at Siege. Oh, he's saying that today. He's like, I can't, I can't fucking play this anymore. It's like when you're always awful. It's like I gotta kill. It, that's why. Siege that's why I hate. I, I, I want to say I hate Siege. It's a great game. It's just I didn't play it when it first came out and like followed that learning curve and actually learned it. Like it's just so such now a it's like, it just game. it just I just feel like it's really down. fun to learn though. Like is, what you're is. describing, that's like the it. fun part. Yeah. Like, like last night, it's so street. Like last Dude, night, I use a gun now. <laughs> <laughs> last like, night, not a shotgun. Last night I was playing. I got like I went like eight and one. Got MVP, and I'm like, yeah. Next Damn. game, 0 and 7. <laughs> and you're like, or 0 and 5. Oh, you're like, oh. sure. Fine. Well, right. you get into that hole, right? At the fast. beginning of the match, you like, you, you get romped on the first round, romped yeah. on the second round. And you're just like, shit, I'm not doing well. Damn, I'm not gonna do well. And then you start like playing out of your comfort zone and whatnot. 
You just gotta like stay in that mentality. Like, eh, yeah. those well, rounds are done and over. I explained earlier. I forget who was talking to me about like. I think it was Jeff. Was like. <laughs> Walk by my desk. <laughs> Those little bouncy balls. <laughs> yeah, man. I think Jeff walked by and was like, and you're still uh, playing Call of Duty, huh? Because I was just, like playing a match. I play like a couple matches every day. Yeah. And, um, and the way I, I like it because it's a great nothing game. It's what I, I, I call certain games nothing it's games. It's like mindless. And those are games like a drop that I can, drop out game. I can jump into the game. I can not listen to it. I can have something else playing or something like not even have headphones on and just be what? playing. What? Not listen to Siege? Well, no, no that's the thing. Oh. Call of Duty. Oh, okay. Like I can just put it down and just be like, oh, I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. And like even if I lose and call, if I have a shit round, I'll be like, damn it. But then I'm just like, you know, whatever. Fuck yeah. it. Siege is like, if I'm going to play Siege in my free time, I got to have the headphones on full concentration. Yeah. And then it's like, Oh, your teammates die. You're the only one left. Everyone's watching you now. I'm like, fuck that. I don't need that. Like in my free time. <laughs> Why am I gonna do that to myself like, in my free time? You don't moments, know these though. people. I don't give a shit. Who you think about when we're streaming and it's like, it's funny though. Fifteen thousand people. Like, no. And also, they can yeah. judge you all they want. They're fucking dead. Yeah, they're dead. Man. No, it doesn't matter. They'll still vote to kick me. No one's expecting. You know, <laughs> no one's expecting you to win that one v two plus. No one's whatever. expecting me to win. Period. It's also. <laughs> I also like the logic of Jeff being like, you know, fuck what they say, they're dead. That is the epitome of Achievement Hunter. Like, everyone who's dead telling the player who's alive how much they suck and they lost the <laughs> That's game. That's all we do. It's like, you ruined it, you idiot, you fucking choked it. Oh, I died in one second. Like, <laughs> zero. I died, so it was your fault. I, the, like, we weren't going to win because of me. The saddest thing to me about us filming everything and it being uploaded is that sometimes when I accidentally team kill, no one notices. But I have to call it out because it will be. Pissed. I totally didn't know it was one yeah, time. Yeah, I, team I executed Jeremy in the back of the head. While but I you was, admitted it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I'm like the, the thing came up in the kill feed, and I was like, "Well," and then and then it, nobody said anything. So I was like, "Oh no, wait, it's filmed." Jeremy, I killed you. Well, no, it wasn't even that. Yeah. You, no one said anything, and then a, a couple more minutes into the round. I think it was Jack was looking at the scoreboard and he goes, Gavin, why do you have negative 200 or something like that? That's what it was. And then, and, uh, There's no hiding that. Yeah. And then so I was like, I think you even tried to play it off. You're during, like, during the match I did, and then at the end I was like, so that 200 points so that I was down? I shot Jeremy. And I was like, did you really? Because I was like, because as soon as I got shot, obviously what I did was go, damn it, like I died, well, and I didn't look at the kill feed or anything. Well, I'm editing that PUBG like, uh, live stream that we did, and I made mm -hmm. sure to definitely like isolate and slow down yeah, and I mean, zoom. Yeah, I mean, you've got to leave that on the cutting room floor. Yeah, I mean, yeah. shooting people. <laughs> PUBG is like the ultimate panic game. It's so much build up, it's really such is. like fun yeah. tick, and I'm just like, it's that's a really enough. fun game that I'd be fine getting more into. Like, we, we've played it a couple times. We really haven't played it that much. Well, we have our own yeah. custom server yeah, now. Because so we're like, still yeah. pretty fucking terrible at it. We're, we're not, awesome. Ryan's really good. Jeremy and Ryan are pretty good. Not everybody in the uh, Let's Play family is terrible at it, that's for sure. No, I'm talking about us, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Alfredo's that's what I'm good. talking about. That was fun. Alfredo was like, nice. and you can tell he's good. It, there's something that he does. In Look at him. See, you can smell you it. You can on just him. smell it on him. You know what I hate about Alfredo working here now? He's tall. He's another I mean, tall everyone's guy. Everyone's taller than but me. But I'm like another. the average tall height. How, how tall are you? 6'1. That's tall. Whenever someone's tall, they're like, oh, I'm 6 feet, 6'1. I wish I was like 6'3. What is average height? Average height five is like, it's, five, like, it's eight, like five, five, seven, five, five, eight. Five, eight, five, five, eight, five, eight, five, eight, five, eight, 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 eight,
By the way, five, oh, eight, eight, what's it? I knew it. Five, five, ten move. is the average. Oh, he calls himself case. Oh, I knew, of course, I knew the uh, average height. I look it up every wow. day of my life. I would just see what could be. It was like Durant combined with servant. That's what it was. Um, or maybe it was the servant or some shit like that. I was just reading it like yesterday. Something I just realized. The second coming. Isn't yeah. this <laughs> week? These are his. This week is first week, isn't it? Look it up. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So that means that, that like everyone can watch this, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we're live right now. We're live oh. right now. Yeah. I'm totally didn't realize that. First week. Well, By the I way, said, I said it you before guys, we started. Oh, I didn't even know. By the way, uh, so people watching on YouTube that don't normally watch live, if you see me looking at my phone, it's because I'm looking at the Twitter feed, hashtag off topic AH. So I can see the Twitter feed coming. You're not by. just bored. Oh. Yeah. I'm not just bored. He was it like, didn't no, it's like half half. It it didn't didn't mad that was a lot of like comments. Like, like, Fuck on you, Slipper's like... awesome. Also, you didn't get to pick your nickname. You um, pick it for you. More. You my Shifty nickname was Shifty? picked for me. What's that? My, my nickname was picked for me. That's well, generally how it works. Yeah, yeah. Alfredo. You, you don't get the, the, you Not to be confused with the other Alfredo. In the G oh, in the Let's Play family. Sugar Pine Fre Alfredo? Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, I've, I've been getting that question all the time. Is this the same Alfredo? I don't know. Nope. Two different Alfredos, I don't, or is it? I don't know. Maybe. I, Maybe I guys, just left Sugar Pine. Did I tell you guys how we hired uh, Sauce over here? <laughs> with a, you like, remember, like hired? Sort of, sort of. Do you remember like with Jeremy and Matt, we made a big fanfare and we hired him for 4,000 people and that whole thing? We took, uh, oh, yeah. uh, it was a totally different, it's not ringing took, any bells. We took the sauce out to the cheapest meal you can possibly find. And then I was like, do you, do you think you'd want to work here? And he's like, yeah, probably. And I was like, all right, cool, I guess so then. And then we're leaving, he's like, and I was like, well, I guess we'll see whenever you move. And he's like, why? Well, would I move? And I go, he's like, wait, did I, am I, did I get hired? And I was like, guess. <laughs> yeah, that was it. No. Sure. I'll see you later. I just got my car left. <laughs> And yeah, and then I, I sat there, there like, contemplating. I was like driving back with Trevor. And I sat there contemplating life. I was like, "Am I am I hired? Am I not hired?" And it wasn't until that day everyone left. It was just Jack and I in the office. Jack was like, "Hey, so congratulations, you got you know." And I was like, "Oh shit, okay." And then like this <laughs> is, that was the moment. Yeah, that was I the moment. I was like, so "I guess confused. I got to move." Like, like I, I will, I'll go to my deathbed, <laughs> seeing him standing in front of that restaurant going. <laughs> that was just like, I was like, watch this. Yeah. yeah, because Louis was like, so what do we think about Alfredo? And then Jeff was like, yeah, yeah you know, you start Monday. Yeah, yeah, you're hired. You start Monday. And I was like, wait, what? Like, this so it was just so like chill, nonchalanos. Yeah, it was it's weird. that easy. You'll be fired the same way. Oh yeah, like, exact same way. Confused. Hey, uh, just order? don't come in tomorrow. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be <laughs> so funny. When are you yeah. moving back? When you, I guess yeah, you, I guess you should head on out of here. Dude, that, I drove here, that was hell. Yeah, I can imagine. It was 12, 27 hours, I did 12 hours and stopped in Arizona, hung out with like, you know, a lot of my community. Sex people. And then, okay, so here's the thing. So we, we packed it, no. everything into my, uh, story. Yeah. We, we packed everything into my car. And one of the last things, I guess that was just like sitting around the room. It's all the deal. And then, uh, it was the sex toys. So I, I headed off to my girlfriend, Jack, uh, Jackie, which Jeff named Marinara. I did. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, the sauce and marinara. <laughs> kind of funny. And line. I was like, oh, just just pack pack this in there. Um, we're driving. We make a pit stop at McDonald's. She's like, oh, I need to get something out of the trunk. She opens the trunk. It's just all there, exposed, like right in the front. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus, you couldn't have packed this further back in. You need quick access. To yeah, I'm like. God help me if like just a treasure trove of sex toys is like a treasure fell. trove. Well, you Fredo know, just announced that he has yeah. a treasure yeah. trove. Yeah. Of sex toys. Don't let it lose. There's, there's, a, there's a handful, <laughs> you know. But like, God help me if I was like at McDonald's picking up like all these things. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. So <laughs> I'm imagining the gag when like you've been eating peanuts in the car and then you open the door and all the shells like spill out. It'd be like, or, like, like dildos. They get into a car. You always see like a truck turns over and all the sugar spills out in the. The interstate, it's like, or like snakes. <laughs> yeah, or oh, don't spoil the, the doll blows up. So actually, <laughs> there's a there's a continuation story because then we had uh, fiber installed. Thank God I have fiber now because it's amazing. You got gigabit? Um, yes, it's I awesome. Do. Brag about it. It's amazing. You don't have uh, gigabit? Of course. No, I don't. Damn. Are you outside of the? Sure am. Oh, I'm way outside. outside. You're way. I'm out. outside Google, yeah. but I have AT and T. What's your address? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm close. Um, but so there was a continuation story to the whole sex toy uh, incident. Um, <laughs> so at t Fiber was gonna get installed on Tuesday, right? Like just last Tuesday. I started on Monday, and I was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna be here, uh, babe. Like, you know, you're gonna have to like, you know, make sure that the at t guy comes in and sets everything up." And then I get a text. He's like, "So I didn't know he was gonna go into the closet. I'm pretty sure he saw all the toys." <laughs> and I was just like, "What?" You need a. You need we a, need to just move this into a, a drawer. Like, you need a drawer for that so, shit. I was like, I like, 
What is this thing gonna die? Like, You're gonna have a I thought it was gonna be like container somewhere. <laughs> like I called and he's like, and he's like, what's your address? And I was like, I don't know. Uh, I don't have my address memorized yet, but I, there is a dildo nailed to the front door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is something I could not deal with. I don't like. Dick. I don't yeah, like coming into my bedroom and seeing like a condom wrapper somewhere and being like. Trevor was here feeding my cats recently. <laughs> like, I don't like that thought. Like I don't like that thought, even though I know he doesn't go into my bedroom. <laughs> it's just like, like should have should have gotten rid Dude, of that. I it's crazy. Like the level of either know, a Trevor's someone, gonna know we have sex. Oh no! I someone, don't want him to know that. Someone didn't think about it, or or b they don't give a shit. But like it's crazy how many people's houses or apartments I've worked in have had like dildos and shit, just like like you know all over the place. It's kind of funny. With drugs like bongs and shit. Like no, that. I never really saw that shit. Oh, okay. I never really like. Well, like, you should be ashamed like of that. Pills, like pills, uh, like you know, like yeah, I feel pill like bottles go are to the extreme lengths to hide that. Like, I've toilet, never, I've never was working in somebody's house and there's like fucking drug paraphernalia, but like dildos and vibrators all over the place. People now that we know, well, it's electronics. Now yeah. that we know that uh, Ooh, that's a Alfredo one. is a sexual deviant, it, <laughs> oh, for sure. it kind of makes sense. That <laughs> sexual deviant, we, alcoholic. We, we gave two. him, we gave him all this those the sex big... pills on Alu today. We did. Oh, yeah. I didn't actually didn't realize really. we were sex pills. Like, Damn it! Not the pills. persona I'm trying to build. <laughs> so whatsoever. you got, if you want to send sex to list Alfredo, he he'll use them. No, 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 no. Trevor didn't want to build the persona that came in his own mouth, but that went out the window. Trevor came in his own mouth. Trevor came out the window. I heard from someone. That's his thing. He's into. Everybody knows that. That's wait, cool, like a dude. like wait wait like a Trevor, snowball kiss? No, no, no it's like, straight from the source. It? No, it was, well, yeah, it is. But Trevor likes to. Fredo knows because he's got it. He's got all the books. Straight uh, the source. By the way, he said source, not sauce. Oh yeah, the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> they sound the same when I say them. <laughs> Jesus, no. Now we know how he got hired. Alfredo, it's a Son long, a it's, it's a long, well-known thing. Trevor does. Trevor's very demure. <laughs> Like I'm so sorry, Jerry. I don't know why I brought it up. I'm so sorry. It's just a thing that we've known about for a long, a long about as long as he worked here. Trevor has this really thing where this he likes to masturbate yeah. and try to come in his own face. When that point started, no, 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 this is totally like, made up. No, no, no he, he like hooks his knees around his ears against a wall for purchase. <laughs> okay. All right, wait, before no, he gets more I don't know that he does that. When that, whole first, when that whole thing first started, uh, Trevor was like, he's like, God, this whole like, Jizz thing that's going on right now, and he's like, just people are like, all the comments are like about me coming in my own mouth, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, it sucks. I mean, all the comments about me being short and stuff, and he goes, but you are short. I don't come in my own mouth. <laughs> It's <laughs> a very good point. It may be the most ridiculous thing you could ever just say, like, oh, yeah, guys, you, uh, 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 Trevor comes in his own mouth. <laughs> do y'all like, remember how that started? No, no I don't even I know don't. what video that was. I may have kept, come up with that. Just Gavin did it one day in the off the cuff. But... Off the cuff. <laughs> Jesus. I just don't remember. It was like a GTA video that that first came up. Dude, everybody needs a thing. Everybody needs to have their own everybody thing. Everybody yeah. needs a thing. Trevor didn't know his identity. He's a British I gave him guy, guy slow-mo guy, I'm Here's a yelly the guy. You know he's tried it at home now. I bet at he has At some point since. in his life, he's like, I wonder if I could, though. I mean, I wouldn't, but... You'd have to eat a lot of pineapple first. I hear that makes it taste differently. Mm -hmm. Well, not only that, I'd... Pineapple aside, you're talking about taste. I, the first thing is shooting it up in your own mouth. That's far like, that's harder. Skill. You know how fucking hard that would be? No, oh, yeah, you okay. thought the whole bounce cup I mean, was I a understand challenge. understand like, what Gavin explains of like, you get... When, when talking, I like, conceived, you lean up against a wall or some shit, right? I conceived this amazing Yeah, idea. but I need I to see like it in action. <laughs> but if you were visualizing down, it. The way you're describing it, it's like, I, don't, I haven't seen it in person. I feel like if, he'd be using gravity. It, so the think, way you're describing it is his legs are flipped up over his head. It's or like his, he's oh, got a hypothetical ass up. person it's like ass doing up this. Is what yeah. you're saying? Ass no. up. He's describing when Trevor comes in his own mouth. What the position? <laughs> the is thing he is in. that what you're what you're claiming is that someone is hi YouTube getting to the point of ejaculation and then doing it right before. Or no, they're just in that off. position, yeah. jacking well, off. No, you probably. Uh, that's gonna suck. That's why all that's so much weight on your neck. No, 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 no. That's why he puts. A, he has a TV on the ceiling. <laughs> you get, you get. He gets close, yeah. and then he gets in the position, and then finishes. I feel off. like that yeah, would really. Would that would yeah. make you kind of simmer down a bit if you're like about that time, and then you're just like. Oh. Christ, against a wall. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta start over again. You go soft. Yeah, yeah. I assume he has help. What? Interesting. You're starting a whole new thing now. We're what? diving well, real well, deep thing. into this. Trevor wanted everybody to know that he goes both ways now. Right, that's something that also started. Yeah. Anyway, he's doing a great job running Achievement Hunter. I don't he care is. what he does in his bedroom, we should stay out of his bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> What we want is gonna break into Jack's house and can like, you? Do a, like, I was gonna <laughs> possibly fathom if we worked somewhere else. 
And no, you I can't. started this like several year long campaign of one of your coworkers coming in their own mouth. There wouldn't be a <laughs> several year campaign. There wouldn't be a one day campaign and you'd be fired. It's so inoffensive. Though. It's like, it's not. It, what do you mean it's inoffensive? It's not offensive. Gavin's not coming in his mouth. How's it's it offensive his, to him? It's his dick, it's his semen. Who cares what it's he does own. with his body? It's so yeah. That's not offensive. It's the most offensive thing you could ever. You could say. start like an actually malicious rumor if you wanted to. You, you can start terrible that. rumors. We just start pointless. Trevor, uh, Trevor ha- ha- does hate crimes on the weekend for fun. Yeah, that could like, be really bad. Oh man, Jesus, that's does offensive. Oh crimes. man, now you understand. Now I get it. Coming in your own mouth. Trevor not offensive. getting a little frisky in that's the bedroom. What what Jeff and Gavin are saying. He got off easy. <laughs> Don't cross it us. It doesn't we'll sound, make it worse. Listen, the way Trevor chooses to get off does not sound easy to me. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of effort. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. It's our boss. <laughs> Jeremy, yeah. I never started a rumor about you. No, you really, didn't. Thanks. really Jeff's boss. I already, Gavin, I already have a lot going for me. You don't have to start a rumor about me. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you see the wheels know. turning in his head already. But should we talk about the B-side that we recorded yesterday? What? No, you should. Oh, oh got that, it. No, that I, should just come out. That's yeah, how I did come out. I did come up with right? that idea on video, so I have said that we were going to do it. We, Still, you have said it, but people don't know that it's been done. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Your right. ideas never end. Is that long enough to be I'm in between go, the games? Yeah. I'm going to okay. go buy like an industrial size, like 55 gallon drum of Bengay. <laughs> After work, and I'm just gonna <laughs> sit in it up to my neck. When this stuff stinks, <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there all weekend. Ben Gay have you ever? It's like old people. That's, have you that's ever? Like just really like, tingly. Ben Gay and sure. Just yeah. The Did you? Yeah. The combo. In like high school and stuff, were you on any tingly. sports teams? <laughs> uh, yes. Would you? Would you play? It's not I as bad as icy hot, but. Oh, you were football. Yeah. You were a quarterback? Yeah. Oh, God I did damn. that for a little bit. And then I was like, no, I want to keep playing Yu Gi Oh! and hanging out with like Tim Gettys. Nice. <laughs> now now yeah. that's why you work here. And then you yeah. just you didn't Tim Gettys over sports. popularity, huh? Yeah. No, no, I've right. been so friends no with that sports. man for 12 years. Why the fuck don't you work over there? Where do we? Uh, kind of funny? Yeah. He's too talented. I mean, you guys have more games. We're just, we're funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, oh, I hate PlayStation. There was a. I'm not gonna like ruin this, but then there was a there was a moment like I think it was like last week where Trevor was like, "Hey, do you want to be on a uh, team, kind of funny, or by yourself?" And I was like, "Um, ah, by myself." <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was funny because we were. I funny, love yeah. those guys though. I wouldn't be here without those guys. We, we saw them. all the. I gotta give him shit for it. It was really yeah, funny that we saw all the teams for the the Let's Play thing, and it was like Achievement Hunter, Fun House, and then there was like couch the up. solo you, couch up. There's like the solo YouTubers, so there was like. Noah, Lannon, uh, Kryken, right? No, but he was on his own team. Well, he were you really? Yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it was just uh, Alfredo. Yeah, <laughs> and then it was, it team. was, and then Trevor's <laughs> like, right. oh, I'm just gonna group him with them. Yeah, like, Let me just put you with yeah, them. Yeah, so again, uh, without context, it's like I get the, oh, this doesn't make any sense, Alfredo's on his own team. What makes less fucking sense? Let's put Alfredo on a team with Noah, Noah and Jay. Yeah. No, are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? The two I'm best like, gamers in the Let's Play Network. <laughs> oh, they're killing me when Everybody's I'm not gonna lie, when I, what are you kidding me? When she was hitting, hitting the fan, I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this. Yeah, you doing this is killing every <laughs> single person in front of you. It's like, Jesus, stop. It's like, <laughs> what I'm on our team. It's like, I could watch. Why wasn't he on Achievement Hunter? I could I watch Batman. Trevor in his sex acts. For what that. an idiot. I could watch <laughs> Batman versus Superman. Or I could watch Batman and Superman <laughs> beat up a bunch of toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one. It's like, let me pick one. It's way more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, <laughs> Batman, Batman versus Superman or Batman and Superman versus retards. Dude, dude, I remember like being in the thick of it in the trenches, like da, 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 da. oh shit, Alfredo killed me. Alfredo killed you. Oh, 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 oh we're all dead. Alfredo yeah. killed every one of us. I felt terrible. At the same time. Yeah, yeah, at the same I can time. imagine as you were pressing the trigger, a single tear went down your face. But times. from now on, achievement hunter. Yeah. <laughs> but now, yeah. So now I'm here. <laughs> Thanks, great. God, but dude. then it, it's, become, like, it's become this thing where it's like, oh, all right, for F- F- Fredo dies, we're all dead. Yeah. All right, Fredo, you gotta yeah. do it. That's I'm your like, burden. Ooh. That is your cross to carry. Yeah. That's what you get for being good. Yeah. I got a tweet on here Uh-oh. from Lucas Prado asking, uh, Michael and Jeremy, are you guys done with Crash? Are we done with Crash Bandicoot? No. We're not. We are gonna film. I've got. Let's watch Crash 2. Yeah. There's, first of all, uh, n- probably next week, uh, Stormy Ascent. DLC mm-hmm. for the first crash. You did that, and then um, or you attempted that, that. After that, crash two. Yeah, we're, 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 so we're, you were, we're you want on. me to play that, I guess, because you've done it. 
you flayed it. I flayed it. So I thought maybe switch it up. You could be tight. This is this is how the scenario went, right? So like right. a lot of people really excited the crash and they really want us to see Blake Crash 2. And a ton of people fucking watched it. And it's like awesome. Like yeah, it's, it we, did well. It did well, and people really liked it. And it's like a huge nostalgia game. And I'm like, cool, we'll play Crash 2. Um, but I didn't know that when we were doing the first one. So like as I like again, we beat the whole thing. Did, uh, before the videos came out, we yep. finished Crash One before the Which first part came out. Which we're doing more often now. Which is scary. We're trying to, so we can complete the whole game or do like a whole series. So I was like, I doubt we'll film the second one. So I just started playing it at home, <clears throat> and then I, I've already beat it. Um, so I could play it again, but like, you know, so many, so many people liked Crash because of like. First of all, it's fucking hard. Like the first game is hard. Yeah, it is. It's a hard fucking platformer. I was I actually kind of appreciated the number of comments that uh, where people were like. I watched Michael play this, and I thought he fucking sucked. And I bought the game, and I, I he's way better than me. This game's fucking hard. <laughs> like those games are tailor made for you. I mean, they're it's, they're, it, they're like rage quit games, but they're real games, yeah. which is great. It's not like a two dollar indie game. It's like games used to be fucking hard, and that's mm -hmm. one of them. Um, so the second and the third one are easier than the first one. Like that's just a fact. Which it one's Wrath of Cortex? Cortex? That's, that's the third. Wrath that's the second of Cortex. One. Second one. That's the oh, second okay. one because the third one's warped. That's the one I've warped. Is, um, yeah. That's the one so, I played. so I was like, I can play them, but after perfecting the first game, like like before the DLC came out, doing all the the gold relics and all that shit, it's the second game's definitely easier. Like I have broken myself into that game. Like I just played it. I was texting you. You mentioned like tons of nights. Like I played it into like the one, two, three a.m. Like I got, I got, I got to get this relic. I get very late night texts from Michael. I got to get this relic. This relic. Crash, yeah. So I don't want to take that away from the audience in the sequel. To be like, oh man, I'm gonna watch Crash all over again. It's gonna be, and I'm just gonna fucking tear through it. I'm gonna rip the game apart and be like, okay, you're gonna jump over this guy, go through here, dive through there, and then beat the level. So what better scenario than Jeremy, the guy who throughout the entire first game was like, I'm so glad I'm not playing this. I, oh god, I'd choke, I'd die right here, all the pressure, blah blah blah. I suck at games like that. So I come in, I come in, and I'm like, I was talking to Trevor, and he wants us to do. He said we should do Crash Two. So I was thinking, like, do you want to do it? And Jeremy's like, fuck no. God no, I'm not gonna play. What's that. my reaction? He's like, I'm guessing you don't want to do it because you just played it. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm like Jeremy. I'm about to start my fifth playthrough on Prey. Okay, that's that's no problem. I just probably shouldn't play it because it wouldn't be as enjoyable for the audience. And Jeremy's like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and then Jeff suck will do the third it. one. You've been hitting these hard recently. These games to completion. You've been going all out. Like, five which is shocking because it's a PlayStation game as well. Mental. It's like it's it's almost to the thing Jeremy was saying earlier. I, I have a comfort zone with games where it's like I beat Prey the first time, I liked it enough where I played it a second because you can completely you can play it completely different using like you know upgrade powers and stuff like that. So I did a completely different playthrough for the second one, and in my head I'm like that's it. I'm only gonna play it twice, but. Having like not a lot of time at home plus baby of like all that shit I need something I can just pick up and play and not have to fucking learn the whole game like pay attention to the story like so you were nice. saying. It's so, so it's nice. like it's I like the game or at least since I've just beat it twice I know the whole game. I know it like like the back of my hand and I'm like ah fuck it I just keep playing this so it's like every time I'm brought to the scenario of like I could play a new game But I'll probably only get to play it for like 10 minutes or, or I'll play it for 20 minutes But I'm not gonna be able to listen to it because I'm gonna be listening to something else. I have like a a wet, like a baby monitor open or something like that. You know what I mean? I just can't like I can't put headphones on like you said with Siege and like play this game in focus. Yeah. So for me, I like when I'm in that mode, I'd rather just perfect the game. Like a game I played over and over and over again, and it's just like muscle memory. Like I just go through it, and that has literally just been Crash, Crash Two, and Prey. That's yeah. all I've played. For me, for the like last, the best like, month and nothing half. games for me. I like Call of Duty, but it has to be Call of Duty. <clears throat> remastered because the new Call of Duty games they have a learning curve because mm -hmm. there's so many different kits and like different, different character abilities. like classes Dude, you can be on walls there's too much shit. there's too much shit I don't man. like I don't give a shit about I'm it I'm fatigue man like, Call of Duty 4 remastered that's right. yeah. it's, it, here's the guns go kill each other <clears throat> yeah I'm playing it and I'm like ooh I'm getting the itch yeah I, so like I love that if they remastered Modern Warfare 2 I'd play the shit out of it it's like that's a great nothing game. Far Cry are great nothing games for me because mm -hmm. it's like the story. Oh yeah, you might you might want the headphones yep. on for the story and like to kind of hear what's going on. 
But everything else yep. is like, go to this point, collect this shit, Same find as that. Same for Assassin's Creed. Here's a collectible yeah, Assassin's, Creed. Assassin's Creed is They're another perfect. great game. It's like, I pop the map open, and I'm like, oh, I'm collecting shit for the next two hours. You can just exactly. ignore the story. I put, fucking, totally I put a video I put a, on. I put, a mon I put a computer on or something, I'm watching Netflix or some shit, and I'm just like, I'm just mindlessly exactly. playing that's, part, that's why I love Far Cry so much, because it can be both games. That's why I love Far Cry. It's I'm like, close to a thousand pointing siege. Yeah, like yeah, like you're getting right. Right. Ahead. It's yeah. about time for them to add some more achievements. I don't think they will. I just hope they will, so you don't have them all. That's to all. fucking Jim's war me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Damn. Man, you know what are good games as well? The first three Spyro games. And let me tell you, there's been a lot of rumors going around now about Spyro Remastered. I've got, year anniversary. I've got a lot of fucking tweets about that. Do you think it'll hold up to your memories? Yes, I mean, because I played them recently. Oh, okay. I played through the trilogy like a year ago, and um, on the... One of one of the uh, PlayStations has that. I think it's PS3. You it's can PS3. Play that That's what sucks. Games. PS3 has such a fucking great online library mm -hmm. that PS4 doesn't have. Yeah, it's bullshit. Like I bought a PS3 PS to play the first three PS3 Spyro games. has like hundreds of PlayStation and PlayStation 2 games, like old school games that you can download, and PS4 doesn't have shit. It sucks. It's stupid as right. hell. And I n I never do the shit of like. Um, People like make tweets and they're like retweet this tweet and stuff like that. I never do shit like that. Um, yeah. And I did one today. You know I did it, one yeah. today, and I was like, because um, that, I forget the name of the group. Vicarious Visions, I think, is who made Crash Insane trilogy. Yes. And um, yeah, it, it, you know, it's like uh, produced by Activision, developed by Vicarious Visions is the thing. And like, so I guess the head of Vicarious was like. If people want Spyro, they just need to keep asking. So then I made a tweet and like tagged Activision in it. And I'm like, we want Spyro back. Like retweet this tweet. Like, cause I want Spyro back so bad. Ugh. And like now with all the rumors coming out, I literally every day I wake up, I look at what's new with politics. And then I look at what's new with Spyro. <laughs> every single day, every day. I, I was do. telling Jeremy that um, I was reading something that like, uh, in the Crash Insane Trilogy, there's a thing that people have noticed that, because when you get to the main menu, it's just like the three games. You can pick like the first, second, or third game. If you go to the third game, <clears throat> when the third game originally came out, there was a demo for Spyro on Crash 3, on Crash 1. Which makes you realize how old Crash was. Right, Crash exactly. 3 had a demo for Spyro for Spyro. 1. I thought they like came out the same time, but like, Crash, they knocked out in like 96, probably was the first one. And there was like 97, 98. Well, like, 20 it, years ago was, so two, that, 20 years uh, was, so was 1998 was Spyro. Well, yeah, Spyro's yeah. 98. So, so I would guess Crash was probably like 96, 97, 98. Exactly. Because for the games that they were, I will say Crash, like, they're, they're like, from the first one to the second one, they like added some abilities, but like graphically, it's the exact fucking same game. At least, especially on PlayStation. So I'm sure that's why they like churned them out like every year. It was fucking easy. It was kind of shocking that like a game like that, that had such a big following, was so easy to make, <laughs> that they only made three of them. You know what I mean? Like, like they just one after another after another. That's something else. That's, <laughs> uh, Jeff in the bucket of Ben Gay has now been uh, posted. That Peter Hayes. That was a good one. Well done. But. In the original uh, Crash 3, you could enter a code on the main menu that would unlock the demo for Spyro. I guess it wasn't just like there, you had to actually put in like a, oh. like a button code. So in the new one, in Crash Insane Trilogy, uh, all they have is new game and continue, and you have like the little white you know, highlighter so you know what you're selecting. If you put the code in, that disappears. So people are thinking that they might have put a new Spyro remake in That'd the Insane so Trilogy, cool. and they Damn. might patch it in later if they announce it, and the reason the thing disappears is it's going to a third option that isn't air there yet. It's grasping at straws, yeah. but it's, it's pretty cool, and people like Jeremy are like clinging to That'd this. That'd be such it, clever. It would be option, fucking yeah. cool. It would right. be cool. Go home at night and I jerk off. And actually, it'd be, it'd be cool for me because I never really played Spyro. I would like to play <laughs> it. The, the, here's the thing. The, the Trevor, Here, here's like, what would kill it for me. This, this is one of the things that would really, uh, it wouldn't kill it, but it would really hurt it. Spyro um, has, he has a new life. Like Spyro had his trilogy. Oh, sure. He had a lot of new games. And now sure. he, he's, he's a poster boy for Sp Skylanders. Like, 
it's that yeah. spiral. But he looks like a fucking doofus. Have you seen him? Yeah, in Skylanders. Yeah, yeah. it's like a smushed, pug-faced little purple. That's weird. Is, he try, is he meant to be cute now? <laughs> I don't yeah. know what he's meant to be, but I hate him. I mean, he was always cute. Jeremy. Yeah, I don't know what's cute. What are you doing to me? Did you know people are calling me, you, and Jack the Three J Crew? It's kind of funny. Oh, I think we said that during golf. Did we? That's funny. Or oh, I think Jack said it. But um, <laughs> not my name. We uh. It's, they would need to make Spyro look similar to the old Spyro for me to be like. I imagine really they would. It. I mean, right. if they're gonna remake the game. What the fuck? The would Skylanders they do that? one looks fucking stupid. And Crash, I think even Crash the, looks great. Crash was a yeah. great remake in that it felt the same. It, it and didn't fuck with anything. Yeah. Also, it, it the only thing they changed, changed. They changed the what? music a little bit, but even then, it was still fine. But the only thing, the only thing that that got fucked in the first game, and I, I read this online, is that actually the like the 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 new game is harder. Than the original because and PlayStation, I don't know if this applies to Crash Two and Three, but it definitely applies to Crash One. Crash's hitbox is a fucking square because it's just like, eh, it's a fucking old shitty game. Like it's not matched to his character. Yeah. So you could make a jump and land on nothing. Like you could like if there was like a space, you could float on pixels because even though he's not standing on it, his hitbox is larger right. than he is. They made it more. In the new game, he's a circle. Uh, Which I think, I think is Crash 2 and 3. So they just, they matched one, so they're all the same. So you more like to slip but off the, edges. Yeah. But the game, one, wasn't designed that way. So, so, as far as I read, that's actually even fucking harder now. So, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty satisfied to have beaten it. I was pretty proud yeah, of that. So, yeah, I'm, it, I'm really hoping for those spiral things. One thing, um, I think they re-record pretty much all the dialogue. I think for... Insane Trilogy, they remade all the cutscenes. Yeah. You know, they didn't just retexture them or anything. Yep. They remade all the cutscenes. Yeah. They re recorded all the, the audio, so too. it's more a high class. My oh, Spyro yeah. is Tom Kenny, SpongeBob, right? Yes. He does Spyro and he does a ton of the characters in the game. There's several yeah. characters that's You don't exactly ever like hire Tom Kenny for one thing. And no, he was okay. in Mr. Show. Oh, was he? Yeah. So it's like, I, I don't know, know if they'd want to try to get Tom Kenny back if they were to do one. I mean, and why the fuck the wouldn't they? He's still working. I know, yeah. But could they afford him now? Uh, the fucking better. <laughs> Dude, he's in like a billion things. He's in everything. He's in fucking Prey. Yeah. Who, who's he in Prey? He is the da, 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 he medical medic? robot. Ah. He's the medical oh. robot. All three robots are different voices. Uh, Every time he's like, oh, I can heal that. Like, I'm, Hello, like, I'm, like, sir. I'm like, thanks, SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have to say that. I think I accidentally time. killed that thing. Uh. I'm, uh, I'm trying to work on GTA 5, going back to the single player, because you get medals on the missions. So oh yeah, you mentioned missions, that. Trying to get gold medals. I think you only need 70 for the achievement, but that's some doing. Sometimes it means playing the same mission, you know, two or three times, because oh. there are some requirements where it's impossible to get both on the same run, but they stack. They, so it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, do yeah. it in less than five minutes, and also never miss a headshot. So it's not... What game? GTA GTA 5. It's not that hard to do. It's like impossible to do in one try. Yeah. So I'm really you focusing on like focus one or two on at a time. Yeah. Some of them have like five requirements, and I'm just kind of skipping those. You only need seventy out. Hundred percenting. What is this for? Back campaign. PC GTA. GTA on my Xbox One. Just getting achievements. Oh you yeah. Yeah. Not even the achievements. Just like because I, I don't even know. Is there an achievement for one hundred percent in the yes. campaign? But you don't have to do everything for hundred percent. Oh, see, like, like I just things that checklist. count towards percentage. GTA yeah. has always been like that. Yeah. Right. You so, don't have to do literally everything for 100. I I did. That was one of the games that I did literally everything in it because I heard there was an Easter egg if you 100 yeah. percent in it, which there is. There's several. The UFO. The UFO. The Bigfoot mission. Bigfoot yeah. is in there. There's a bunch of shit, oh, and nice. I was like, I want to make that for the community channel. So I literally 100 percent of that game just so I could make two videos for the community. Did you do it on 360 though, probably. Mm -hmm. I did it on the 360, yeah, so yeah. none of the stuff is on the one. I'm did gonna you watch do those videos. That's, what, that's on one of the highest speed community channels. Uh, Initially? Videos. No. It's me and Matt, actually. I, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this one with Axial Matt. I've never done a video with him. <laughs> First video I did with Matt, and then we did the UFO Easter egg. Another clear up I've done is Hitman, the 2016 one. Woof. I, I should really play that. I have a glitched achievement. Yeah. Have yeah, you done yeah, the Godzilla that. Easter egg yet? I told no, you about I've it. I've done everything except oh, do there, there's one achievement, it's super easy. It's just do every opportunity on the Japan level, that's the sixth mission. But I just didn't get the achievement pop. Dude, and I, I don't want to do every. I don't. I don't want to. I assume one of them just didn't register. I don't want to do them all again to figure out which one. Because yeah, if they don't I hear work you. again, then I played it all twice for no reason. I I remember a time. Mission, how many is it? There's like six different scenarios. They will take yeah. a, a bit of time. It'd be like maybe two hours of work. I, I've got one. I'm scared. Is glitched on siege. Which oh is just really? Achieve a rank in, in uh, achieve, a ranking in ranked, and mm -hmm. I've done it. I just don't have the achievement. 
Keep maybe. getting ranked. Sounds like it's glitched. Maybe you try it when there's a new season. Oh, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll try to rank up. How about Freedom? Let's see what happens. Just make sure. Just oh, yeah, can, can you take care of this Let's for me? Boost your account. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I mean, it's not a boost if he's already got it. Alfredo. But then we boost them up to platinum diamond. And then... I mean, well, if he needs to get the achievement, yeah. Because if anybody should be how a does platinum it work? Does it go up or down? Because I'm gold four. What's better than gold four? Gold five or gold? It three? used to be reversed, but now it's gold four, two, one, and once you hit one, it's the next one. So go platinum. gold four to platinum one. Yeah, gold four to gold one, then platinum four, three. Fuck, I don't Can you prestige right. in that game? No. Oh, and yeah. then there's diamond. Oh, yeah. Alfredo, explain diamond something team? to us. There's, there's something some I don't understand titles, about definitely. Siege. Sometimes when we play Siege, on the character loading screen, when you see the five operators that are coming out, sometimes yeah. they're in color and they have like a cool flare around them. Oh yeah. What is that? Those are the elite skins. How do you get those? So you just you be a badass. You just you buy them straight up. And you buy them. Yeah. Oh, you buy. Yeah, them. but you get like. You're gonna do that. Honor, that, that, honor that, that, for honor so when you get fire DLC out Monday. <laughs> oh, but it's a it's a full oh, suit. Jeff's gonna you buy. get the you get the figure. You get a keychain. You get uh, all the skins for the guns too. You get an animation if you're like <laughs> literally first place. for honor. Oh, okay. They oh, have, that's exactly what pedals. I thought of. <laughs> yeah. exactly, I had no problem spending Jeff's money so I could get flames <laughs> shooting out of my back. For the two honor, times and I had and I had pedals and shit. I was like, oh, so I'm stupid. buying this. I Rainbow, got fucking fire wings. Rainbow Six has nailed the satisfaction factor of ripping open those alpha packs. You're like, <laughs> like yeah. you can do it as slowly as you want. I like tease yeah. them open a few times, like. Yeah. Oh, Before I get into my next, you know who else Michael. has nailed it? Yeah. Warby Parker. Bam. An hour thing, and fifteen minutes in. Good thing everyone. I can. Good thing I can see this ad read. <laughs> this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Warby Parker. Warby Parker makes high quality, stylish frames for prescription glasses like mine. Warby Parker frames start at just ninety five bucks, including prescription lenses. And lenses include anti glare and anti scratch coatings. For every pair you buy, Warby Parker distributes a pair to someone in need. Warby Parker makes buying glasses online easy and risk free with their free try home tr with their free home try on program. Just go to warbyparker.com slash off topic, choose your five favorite frames, and they send them to you for free. You have five days to try them on and decide which ones you like best with no obligation to buy. The home try on kit ships for free both ways. Once you've decided on your favorite, send all five frames back using the prepaid return shipping label. Here we'll show you different frame styles shown on the screen. Like here, okay. I'm motioning towards them. Get it? Go to warbyparker.com slash off topic to order your free home try on kit. And if you can't decide on a pair, you can download the Warby Parker app available for iPhone and iPad and create a video of you in your home try on frames, which you can easily share with your friends and family to help you pick a winner. Once again, that's warbyparker.com slash off topic. Order your home try on kit today. That's how, uh, that's how I got these glasses. I got five frames, and then I picked out two that I liked, and now I've got two pairs of Warby Parker glasses. And as I said earlier in the podcast, love them. They're great frames. I, they're definitely better than the ones that I had before this. I don't know if there was any particular like branded frames or anything, but popping the lenses in, I was like, oh my god! It was like it was like going from SD to HD for me, who has I have shitty vision. So I guess it, I think I need glasses, so that's probably the path I'm gonna. Do you should check out warbyparker.com slash off topic. Oh, hey, Alfredo. Boom. Fatty discount. Yeah, Alfredo isn't part of the link, but. <laughs> so, the thing I wanted to bring up is um, uh -oh. when I was talking about those old videos. Here it is. What I remember the other day is how much I used to fucking love Easter eggs in games. Yeah. Like, there was a time when if I heard well, that an Easter egg in a game, I'd load up the game. Easter eggs. Right. It's like I used to load up a game and be like, I'm going to go find this Easter egg because I want to see it. Like, Dude, that was Gears of that War. was a thing. Chicken fucking the new the new Gears of War. Uh, what's the newest one? Four. Four. four? Yeah. Gears of War four. So just sort of, um, that's got some crazy shit in it. It's like a whole thing of like, oh, you shoot all these tomato plants and then like um, Marcus go like starts yelling at you about it and then you get these like tomato grenades that blow up into ketchup. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. So we should like, do that. There's a whole thing like that. Yeah. I saw right Gavin now. in Hitman. There's a whole thing where if like you dress like a ninja on a certain map, you can get to like an invisible maze like fucking Koga's gym. You go through the. You go through like all the way to the end of the maze and you get a place where it's like blend in. You like kneel down and you can see Godzilla in the distance. Yeah. Like it's like a whole there's so many Easter eggs out there right now. Hey, there's a fucking Me Seeks stuff. box in Halo 5 at one Is there really? Yeah. Wait, what? Like, like a straight up Me Seeks box in a tube in a Halo 5 map. That's awesome. But, like That's perfectly there. It's like I'm Mr. Rick Meeseeks. Rick and Morty. I like that when there's the achievement incentive to get an Easter egg too. Like Hitman does that a lot where There'll be a secret achievement, but it'll just be do one of these. Halo games. 5 did that with the red versus yeah. blue ones. There's one in Hitman where I think on the Thailand level, if you shoot 13 gold elephant statues, 
there's two giant elephants at the beginning of the, of the map, like as you walk into the hotel. If you shoot all 13, they just start crying blood and then you get an achievement. It's like such an odd, like, yeah. I don't know who would find I that did, out. I did a video for GameStop fairly recently where it was like five best Easter eggs of 2017 so far. And what were they? That. I don't know if I can remember all of them. There's one in Battlefield, uh, one of the newer Battlefield maps where if you the shoot- shark one? No, if you shoot a bunch of bottles on a map against a fence post and then you shoot a bunch of weather vanes, <laughs> Um, the house from up flies by in the sky. Oh, <laughs> that's right. the the Battlefield always Battle has Road. some fucking, like, they make you work. Didn't yeah, they also exactly. have, yeah. I, think, I think it was a Battlefield game, they had like a 1 in 10,000 chance. That's Battlefield. A different reload animation. It's a reload yeah. animation. Yeah, there was, and he like puts in the magazine like, there was that one. It's different stuff for every gun. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah it was I like a really, Jesus. I really can't remember what they all were. That's there was cool. that one, there was yeah, one from pops Legend up. of Zelda, from Breath of the Wild, it's like the first four shrines you go to. They have the shriveled people at the end, right? Who give you the? Oh yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, they're all people. doing a thing of the Triforce. Yeah, they're all do like so. One's doing that, and the next one's doing that, and then one's doing that and that. So they're oh. all doing the Triforce with their hands. And then there's one in For Honor where you see the background of Mortal Kombat in the background. There's a bridge with two people fighting with swords, and one's on fire. Oh, I think it's, it's like the one. Mortal yeah. Kombat that's background. Dope. So that's like in the backdrop there, and like there's so much cool shit still, and I just we don't be, focus on. We should anymore. be filming that stuff. We should. We should yeah. film Easter eggs. We should always film Easter eggs. Yeah, because they always do well. I want to go back. Only, the only the problem with Easter eggs, it's to do. so hard to just be like, oh, film that Easter egg, is when it's like play eighty percent of the yeah. game. Yes. To it. Well, that's when you yeah, go, yeah. hey, I met Brian. Well, you know, it depends on the game. <laughs> it depends on the game. Care. Like, like when Fallout came out, I was like, I'm doing the fucking bobblehead guides. Like those, you got to play really into it to do it, but I'm gonna play it anyway, so fuck it. I used your guys. Yeah, I did. I stayed. I did that first because I, I know that in three there was one that you could miss if you played too yeah, far. Je yeah, Jeff was like two or three of them. You yeah, Jeff was nice one enough. In Megaton, if you blow it up, you can't yeah. get it. And then there's one like way at the end of the game. Which I is would the same love, thing. It's like a base. It's in, it's in uh, Raven's up. Rock. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, the energy fuck up, weapon. And then you don't get to come back. Which I, I remember because I love to see like a Telltale style. Um, graph of like who did what in Fallout. Like, I wonder how many people actually blew up Megaton. I assume most people didn't. Yeah, I did. Most people did not. I, didn't. I can guarantee I, most people. I, so that was like my main base of operations. Yeah. Megaton. Yep. But I mean, like, so the thing is, if you blow up Megaton, then your main base of operations is Ten, Ten Penny, Penny Tower. Tower. Yeah. yeah. But uh, with the ghouls. Like for the Fallout Four, Jeff was nice enough to he got a copy of Fallout oh. early. Fallout 4 early, mm -hmm. and he gave it to me. Yeah. And so I played through that, and the night before the game officially released. I, I was in the office until like 1 a.m. maybe, and I was like in the just recording the uh, bobbleheads, like find like because I knew where some of them were, and then I was like finding the rest of them. It's one of the most viewed videos on Achievement Hunter. Mm -hmm. I yeah. appreciate it's like your top efforts. five, I would guess. Uh, it's up there. It was like the day the game came out. I was like, here you go, bobbleheads. I, rem I remember a certain race to a million with a certain smug faced fuck. Gavin still won. <laughs> he beat. What was it? Puddle pile. It was. Yeah. It was Hitman. It was yeah. close. But then Puddle Pile made it into Hitman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, still, yeah they I'm put it in one so of the, like, yeah, one of see, the DLCs. If, see, if I, had, if I had won the game, they would have talked about bobbleheads in Hitman. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I was, I was going to look up the, the videos. Wait. Oh, if you want to see their view count now? I want to see. Just like, I think they're both uh, massively overtaken at this point. Uh, oh yeah, they're definitely not Axe, the highest. Axe the Kick is the highest viewed video. So Axe two, Kick two and a half really well on that channel. Dude, Ooh, low battery. <laughs> I'm excited about some the, some of the between the games we got coming. Between out. the games does super well. I'm excited about pretty much everything that's coming out lately. Like the, we, I, seven, I want seven days to come out. I know you I always say that and you always mean it in the moment, but yeah, you, you never you never feel like you're making mediocre content. You always feel like what you're doing is the best. But that you've been doing, but I just feel like we've been on, so just firing on all cylinders lately. The number one video on Achievement Hunter is the Axic video at yeah. two point five million. Number two, shenanigans, shenanigans uh, breaking into Gavin's office when it was his office. Yeah, two point one, and then and then an episode of Schooled, and then another shenanigans. Jeremy's fucking amazing. Jeremy's the desk race. race. That's desk a great race. one. I'm so glad. And then fucking seven, seven days. days to die. One point six day mil. one. Seven days. You know what I'm surprised by? That's pretty cool. Is well, it's not. Right there on the list, but how well off uh, Heroes Nathless number one is doing? Is that the one that was on YouTube? There it is. It's 1.2 1. 1. 1. Mil. million. It's even more than off topic number one. Yeah. Well, also 1.2. Yeah. Oh, interesting. How do we know where? I mean, we don't know. Because I looked at it. We, we haven't know. animated? We don't know. We, we haven't know. animated up also, there. Also, there's a tire, so I would. And uh, that's the Star Wars one. Gavin <laughs> 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 explains Star Wars. <laughs> that's uh, a good one. 
And there's a, a things to do in Overwatch that's up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that the, um... I think it's Deflect Duel, yeah. yeah, yeah they deflected each other. It's a good one. Yeah. Matt's really great at the Matt and Panton are really good at, like... That's what I like about the Achievement Hunter channel is that it's, anything can get over a million. It's kind of random. They're all different kinds of videos. Like series and just one-offs. They all, they all can be over a million. Yeah. There's a lot at a million. Couple play pals. You you two can you do a rage quit up there? series that you've. There's a rage quit you know, way up there. Rage it, it, your series that you haven't made yet can get a million. Person. It's it, you, you all can. <laughs> Just do something stupid. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, it dumb works for and us. funny. That's how that's comes together. It's true. That's what is what is RTX? What is that? What is the what is the slogan for RTX? It's like it's like gaming. Meets the internet. Something community. Metal detectors? Oh, no, um, no. That was this year. Oh, okay. So it's like three things. Gaming meets. Oh, uh, no. It's like gaming something community. Meets the internet. C community? You keep saying meets. It's not in there. It's just three oh, words. It is? There's just three words. It's like I thought bang, it was gaming bang, meets bang. The yeah, I like thought that's what, I thought. what RTX's logo used to be. Yeah. What is it? I'm now? telling you, there's like it's like three things. Come. So no, see, that's Achievement Hunter. Oh. It's like dumb, funny, stupid. <laughs> dumb, Hunter. funny, stupid. Achievement Hunter. So Where gaming, gaming meets, meets the internet. I'm was, telling you, there was, that must be a newer one. There was an older one then. Um, I, I'm just excited that the next couple of Between the Games don't involve any destruction. Because I feel like the last few, we've just been trashing. Also, the can yeah, we I mean, not... Yeah. Um, I'm going to petition to not have my face on the thumbnail. <laughs> Almost <laughs> every live action That's we've done so far is my you. fucking face. That's what happens you're when it happens you're a key to you. player in between Who the, the game? fuck are we gonna put in the thumbnail when we cover your face with silver? Yeah. There was there was a we comment. Put his fucking what was face? the last live action to come make out? Any I'm sense. trying to think. The the, 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 the fucking ball. the fucking no, no, the, the mask. The ceiling ball was now the last live action. Right, the ceiling ball was the last one. But like the, I said, the, the mask. mask I'm yeah. saying, what else would we show? Th this is the reason is is because usually if we haven't filmed something in like 40 minutes, I'm like. And then I just pick up the camera. And See, walk the thing up is, to you. though, like, I just I can't. <laughs> stop <laughs> so oh, there was a problem. Problem. Jeremy, let's do the something. The problem with between the games is that forty minutes is now forty seconds. It's yeah. like something didn't happen. I'm doing something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like but no like, time at all goes by. That, that video filming. came out the, the the mask one, and I was like looking through the comments on it. People love it, and like they love the live action shit. And there was some people that were like. This is just this is feeding Jeremy's craving for attention or well, something. It is. And the responses not. And the responses are like. Gavin covered him with fucking silly string. Yeah, like, because you're an attention <laughs> whore and you want all the silly string. I just can't string. help it. I do. You know how many times want me to flip my focus and get a different go-to guy? Yeah, I will. You might need to do it for a little yeah. bit. Who right. else would be your guy? Uh, anyone? Hey, yeah, friends. You just found what's up, dude. Because it was me, and it became Jeremy. Because there's no one else. Yep. And now you just found. Him. I'm just gonna be in the. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck it. All right. How That's is Alfredo gonna live with a shaved head though? Oh, I think he pull point. it off. Well, he's got to do the color. A, a lot of people thought this was because of the silly string. Oh, yeah. oh, really? Back, Back in the, the day. Toxic, a yeah, lot right. of people thought the toxicity of the silly string is why I shaved my head. Well, you didn't shave your head. It just fell out. It's just, it's gone. It's it acid burned, burned it off. Yeah. It's so shiny on off topic, too. I love it. Yeah, well, they mentioned, like, last week, you can, mm. there's, like, some, like, gel you can put Are on Are you having head, to like, goop bick that thing every day? Fuck. You got it. Every other day. I do it every other day. You got it. And I don't pick it. I use my uh, I use my Dollar Shave Club. That's what I use. I, it's not like you were thinking about it. Couldn't think of the name of it. I've been, I've been using the back of your head. Yep. I've been using the Dollar the shave, shave Butter Club and the lately. Dude, too. it's actually funny. Today I I shaved with the Dollar Shave Club, and uh, <laughs> I I use the not a sponsor. The Doctor Carver <laughs> butter, so and then I use the the. Um, the after, the after shave, yeah, yeah. which is really nice, and because like I get crazy razor burns if I, don't, if I don't use it, so it does. It really helps with like getting like I, I'll come on the podcast and it's like looks like someone slit my throat. It's just like all red right here. And I'm like, God damn it! Like Lindsay finally lost it. Yeah, she lost it. <laughs> she hit her limit. Now usually she's smart. She like puts like marbles. You in haven't sack lived and hits until, me in the stomach. Yeah, you haven't lived until you've had razor burn on the back of your head. Yeah, I'm nice. good. Oh, I'm good. Real I, don't, nice. I don't need to go there. But I used the um, the aftershave cream this morning, and then. It was like 6.30 this morning, because I got up super early, because Lindsay's out of town, so I'm on like single parent duty. Oh, uh, yeah. Ugh. So I got up super early, I had to I had to get ready, get dressed, do everything, and then get Iris ready and dressed, and then hand her off to Lindsay's parents so they could watch her while I'm here at work today. Um, so usually I'm getting ready at like 8 o'clock, because it was like 6.30 in the morning. So I put the shit on, and then I was able, they, they took her, and then I had time to go to the gym, and then I came here right from the gym. 
So it's fucking hot as shit out today, as yep. it has been. But it's super fucking hot. And I was just like sweating to death at the gym today as I was working out. I was like, fucking Christ. So like halfway through the workout, you know, I'm wiping my face. I got paper towels and wiping my face. And I go like this, I'm like, the fuck? And there's like goo on my neck. And I was like, what the shit? My fucking all the aftershave cream like started sweating out of my pores after, <laughs> oh, like, like, after I absorbed oh, it. Shit. I mean, it was on my face and my face was dry for like two hours at the gym. Like I'm getting gel in my face. And I was like, holy Ooh, shit, I'm sweating. It out. I was sweating so much, but it was still very smooth. The thing that would happen to me all the time is uh, I would get out of the okay. shower Hey, why you want to back when I had a head of hair? It's good if you ever get a shoulder pain, you yeah, rub a tennis ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep going. So maybe bouncy ball no. for your bicep. You know? <laughs> bouncy ball is the problem. Look at that bicep though. Um, when I would, uh, when I had hair, I would get out of the shower every now and again and like be drying off and would almost like would start getting dressed and I'd feel my head and it would be like, like in my head, my head would feel all slimy and stuff. I'd be like. There's this fucking conditioner I use where it says put it in your head and leave it on there for a couple minutes and then rinse it out. In that couple minutes, I forget every time that I put conditioner in my hair. And it happened literally every shower. I put it in and go, all right, in three minutes, wash it out. Three minutes goes by, I totally forgot and I put it on my head. <laughs> and so all the time I would get out, half dress, feel my head, undress, get back in the shower, <laughs> wipe it off. That's, that's, that's why he shaved his head. Yeah. I've done that like twice. Dude, it is unbelievably nice to go in a shower and not have to use any shampoo or anything. Just no, so yeah, I, I know, that. I know or that. you don't even have to dry your hair. Or Every time like I get a hair soap done, and then just towel and done. You don't, you don't condition the scalp. Nope. Yeah. I literally just go in the sh I go in the yeah. shower and every other day, I just I have a razor and I put the the shave butter stuff on and then you just literally you run one hand over and you go oh it's rough there one hand rough. Rough, and then you just get it until it's all smooth. The other day we tried it to bounce a, a laser Works beam out. off it, didn't we? Into the we camp. bounced a laser beam Jeez. in the first episode of Tea Party. Yeah, which will never come out in like a month or two or something. No, no, no. Have you guys ever, speaking of like forgetting things in the shower, have you ever had like Bengue or like Icy Hot What's on it you? with Bengue today? <laughs> <laughs> ben get there? I, but, use, I actually use Tiger Balm, but yeah, I've used I said Bengue because I think it's more universally known. I use Bengue. There's Jeff uh, in the Bengue barrel. Yeah, yeah, that's such a good Peter Hayes. Well done. <laughs> Have you so have you ever had that on you and then like jump into the shower and then have forgotten that you had it on you and then just had it rinse off onto your body? I know. I did that once and it rinsed onto my dick yeah. and I it it does it because it like when you try to wash it off it's still kind of like you know like kind of oily yeah. yeah so it takes a minute. I was in the fetal position, dying for a solid oh, half one hour. Time, I never, it burns and it doesn't well, go away. I never away. did that, but I, I assume uh, you know. Not slamming my dick in the toilet seat, right. but as a kid, I think I was like nine or ten, totally like was over at my friend's house and he had icy hot. I put that on my dick and it sucked. <laughs> that's so I'm sure, bad. It's, I'm sure it's, it's like the very so similar. Bad. It's like, oh man, it's cold. Right, for me, it was gold bond. Man, <laughs> 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 you're just like, cut it off! But then you try to wash it, it off, but it's like got this oil texture. Can we, can we do that? Back Somewhere off. Shaq is like, Whoo. I'll do it. I'll put icy hot on my dick. <laughs> I've never, I've never used icy hot. It, it, it's, 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 it's cold and then it's I feel hot. Like in it this really situation, burns. It's great for like sore muscles. It doesn't muscles. wash off. It takes like forever. I feel like it I'm very happy to have a foreskin now. If we're gonna do this, because it would keep you off most. Well, it'll trap. See, but when you don't have a foreskin, oh yeah. When you don't have a foreskin, don't ever talk about his dick and put your finger in your mouth like that. Stop. Oh, Here's, oh, one mini, stop. Here's one of the many reasons why I'm a shitty husband. Uh, hey, when we had Millie and Griffin was breastfeeding, her nipples were always sore and chafed. And one time, I didn't for a second think this was gonna work. I knew it was gonna happen. I fought with her and convinced her to rub Tiger Balm on her nipples. It would make them feel better. She didn't talk to me for about a week. That is there it is. fucking <laughs> crazy. Don't do any of this. And I, I mean, like, I mean, do or don't. It's, I was like, it's your, is, I'm not telling you to do it. When you like, you can see, you can see the ramifications in front of you, but you don't care. Well, she just like, like bent over the, the freezer drawer drawer after that. She was just like, was not what was the weirdest thing you've ever put your dick into? <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. Show me potato egg. salad. I have to come back to you on that. I can't, I'm trying to think of one thing I put it into. I don't know that I'm ever. Can you do the toilet seat? Can. Ooh. I don't think I really ever put my dick in it. You ever fucked here. like, like I fucked a pillow before when I was young. <laughs> like, no, I did. I did. You know like, people have done that. No, no, no. Like a pillow case. No, you like no, you like you like pillow, dick, fold, fuck. Do you have like a bag of? Did you like yeah. did you lubricate it? You can try that at home. Yeah, 
I don't really know how that's gonna work, but what? I get your I get your reasoning behind oh, it. I never did that. I did like as a kid, like like right like. 10, 11, 12, like, like, wow, my dick, what's this? Like, as it's like activating. <laughs> I definitely was all about like, like massage. Like if you could get like, like I, I had like this like back massage thing. It was like, it would like go over a seat, you know, and you plug it oh, in. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's got like, you know, like a back massage. It's like up and like down. It's like a vibrating. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Dick. But I've never really like fucked anything weird. Mm. I fucked like the first wife. I don't think, was that weird? <laughs> I always hear about people fucking weird things. Like, there was a Reddit post the other day about someone fucking a coconut or something. <laughs> oh, God. What? Yeah. How was it? You read that one. That was a I rough one. About it, yeah. That was a rough one. What, what was, was it weird rough? about it? He kept fucking the coconut over and over again. And, like but then he would fuck it, finish, and put it under his bed. And he kept doing that over and over again. And then he said he smelled something kind of weird in his room. All the cum? And he's like, yeah. the coconut might be getting kind of bad. He's like, all right, I'll fuck it one more time. He fucks the coconut, and then he pulled it out, and he said the end of his dick was covered in maggots. <laughs> oh my! And then he said he threw the coconut, and it split, and all the maggoty cum fell out, and he had to clean it all. That's- you just I mean, kill yourself. Listen, you're gonna- point. if you're fucking a coconut, <laughs> buy a new <laughs> coconut after you're done. That's the only how reason much, I told the full story, is I wanted that to happen. How much does a coconut cost, right? Like. I'd buy a new one. Get a new Christ. one. Yeah. Get a new one. And at least, like, even as like, you're saying the guy, how long did he fuck it? It's not, uh, clearly not even after every use. Wait, why would you throw a, the coconut away after one use? Buy a new one after five uses, guy. Like, if I had like, to list fruit that I would dude, not, if I'm gonna I wouldn't fuck have a coconut, coconut it's going to be a fresh coconut. I, so I'm Who saying, refucks a coconut? I'm just saying, like, there's, 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 there's several ways to look at this. There's, like, there's fucking... <laughs> A new coconut. How fucking ghetto do you gotta- Coconuts are not expensive. Listen, there's fucking a new coconut. There's fucking a used coconut. And then there's fucking a maggot coconut. Yeah. Like, how far did you have to go from the second what? to the well, third coconut? Didn't know. Did you guys see the- the Yeah, viral, but I mean, like, viral? you gotta be fucking it for weeks How many coconuts point? were in your trunk at if that point? If no <laughs> maggot came out of a coconut I was fucking, after the <laughs> fourth time I fucked it, one I'd be like, one I got sure. that way I a new one. That raises- It's still gonna fuck. So that- like, somebody's gonna see all the coconuts, they're gonna know we're fucking them! That- that- There's a bunch of holes in it! Bunch of maggots! Bunch of maggots You're gonna get so many coconuts then. That raises a simple question, and that- the simple question is, what's the most fuckable fruit? If you send Alfredo a coconut, please don't fuck it first. What's the most- what is the most God. fuckable fruit? Um, maybe like a papaya. <laughs> a papaya. That's a quick response. The thing is, like, ass. coconut's like hard. Like you can get. Well, like, I mean, if you want on the outside, but the inside, maybe a mango. Still, still, still hard, but the inside isn't soft. I feel like coconut, mangoes it's... get like tenderized. You can like punch them. Got a pit in there. You'd have to get the pit out. It's give. I guess so. Yeah. Funny junk, but I don't know if it's insensitive. It probably is. What's a good thing to fuck? The most fuckable fruit. So and like I get it, you're a woman, you? the answer's a cucumber. But I'm talking about men. Yeah, that's also a vegetable. No, like a cucumber's a fruit, I think. Like a banana Isn't peel, it? maybe. Fru it's got uh, seeds on the inside. Is. is a cucumber a fruit or a vegetable? They're on it! They're on it! I love spinning and then keyboards. <laughs> Who gets it first? They have a whole like Hunger Games system in there. Like yeah. whoever gets the five gets, first. you get a gold star pizza party. <laughs> Hit me up. I think it's <laughs> technically a fruit. fruit. You were it's right? one of those shitball things that should be a bad like, yeah. tomato. In there. Yeah. Like back in the day, it was just like a tomato is a fruit. What? Now it's like everything's a fucking. I don't fruit. know why you have to go for fruit. Maybe like a tin of beans would be alright. What? What'd you, you say? Said, fuck what? a tin of like, beans. The, fuck a oh, can of beans. Oh, fuck a tin. I thought, you, I, I thought you said a tin of beans was the fruit. No, it's not. <laughs> Would you like cut your- Very good. You want to fuck a tin of beans? I just that don't know why fruit dangerous. is to go to. There's easier stuff to get hold of. Yeah, also, also, but the you tin of beans like, beans like, like, you, like <laughs> you want like soft shit to yeah. fuck, you know? Yeah. You, no, I'm agreeing with you. I'm yeah. saying like, I wouldn't- you Hang on, fuck, Google like, search coming up. Yeah. I knew for a fact it was something along the lines of that. 100%. I'm Should looking like, up. Yeah. I'm looking up best food to masturbate with. Jeez. I mean, the, I think food. melons, watermelons are always good because of the freedom you get inside. I'm I just think. trying to think. Food of, like, items men used to masturbate. Like, what's, what's good? This is allowed me to get all the angles. Yeah. Oh, this side soft. Let me go to the other. Yeah. Yeah. Spaghetti yeah. Squash. This side. <laughs> oh, spaghetti squash might be a good one to fuck. Yeah, with some brown sugar. I don't know if we need that. Are we gonna eat it afterwards? Why brown sugar? Oh, I like brown. I like sugar. You know what oh, you're, you're not, it's like really coarse. It's like exfoliate. This is my favorite website ever. You want to exfoliate while you fuck. Some men enjoy masturbating with a nice French roll. 
what, one guy French instructed bread? me to open up a French roll and then add a lubricant. You that, fold the roll around your penis and hump away. Literally the worst kind of wet bread that. Don't could be. use bread. <laughs> you want to eat cum wet bread? <laughs> I'm gonna have to just step away for a second. <laughs> Gavin's gonna go jack off. Some he's gonna, men, he's gonna go look for Trevor. Some men, <laughs> use, <laughs> some men use spam Trevor puts to his masturbate. Bread in your mouth. Ah, oh, that oh, spam would be spam. good. Spam. Spam is slippery. Like two slices. Yeah. Two slices of spam yeah. would probably be right good there. to stick. Your I bet you would. That's like that's like the old like fuck the mattress. You know? <laughs> that's spam. You some guys that. use cucumbers. Apparently, you clean out the middle and then you fuck that. Yeah, hollowed out cucumber would work. Yeah. Why would you just use a flashlight? Well, then you can like, you like, like, when you're done, you can just walk around and go like, "What's the money ends up?" Turning into a vegetable. Ah! Don't go to McDonald's twice. Can you send me that for the link dump? Play all that. Yeah, for the link dump, right? I just looked up. <laughs> literally, look up best food to masturbate with on Google. It's the first thing. It's right. from who's making the H E B run. <laughs> It's from lovesyoujiri.com. I'm, I'm smelling a post show. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up? Gavin, what is this coconut smell like? Does it smell like coconut? You want coconut or spam? Oh. Take your choice. Old jizz probably smells horrible. <laughs> Fuck. Jeez. Somebody get Andy. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. Dude, new jizz doesn't this. really smell great. No. It has a very distinctive odor. It's very semeny. <laughs> That's why you have that, that does it smell like cum in here. Does it smell like cum in here? Because cum has a smell. Gavin's famous quote, does it smell like cum in here? Made famous entirely by you. But because you said it, and it was too good for me to let go. Mm. I don't know why you attached to that one so much. It's just so good. Like, we walk, this is back in the oldest office I worked in, which was uh, the 636 office, when, when, like, Let's Play started. The office Let's Play started, and the the six of us cramped in the tiny room, and Ryan didn't have a desk. We gave it to us. Lovely run. Well, he had lovely run. He didn't have a sorry. He didn't have like a chair really. He had. Yeah, yeah. He had. He didn't have a station. He had a couch and, and his a own tray sofa. Table. His own sofa and a tray table. It he was ready to eat a hungry man dinner. And it was. We didn't give him a desk. It like, was, that was tiny yeah. in that fucking room. And I'll say the same thing I've always said with the G-Man. We're lucky living in fucking Austin that none of us stink like shit. Yeah. Because especially that room, it'd be like you fucking smell. Get out. Yeah. Like, leave. You gotta go. If anybody had bo, it's like you. You, you're great. Got, you Fix gotta it. go. You're fired. Leave. You gotta okay. go. Nobody was stinky. Go outside. Fucking and pose Gavin down. walks into the office one day, just having a chat. It's early in the morning. He's like, "This smell like cum in here," and I just lost it. I just couldn't. I just couldn't handle it. I mean, in your defense, cum has a smell. But again, it smells like anything. When else. it was just Gavin, and the rest of the room's like, "Yeah, I don't know." There are two smells like that. will catch you off guard. I'm just sitting next to him, the only one engaging him. He's like, "It smells like cum." I'm telling you. I feel like every now and again, you get a whiff, you get a, you get a waft of either cum or vagina, and they have very distinct smells. Yeah, you do. There was I was definitely... just worried because it was around the time where like. You know, people cutting holes in my desk, put stuff in. I was like, I <laughs> put like a cum sandwich in the vibrator hole. Cum sandwich. I was just trying to make sure. I, I that was like, no one, in your Xbox. No yeah. one drilled cum in. I like that's desk. his thought process too. He's like, like we're sitting around going, "Hey, you know, we put the vibrating the noise machine in his desk. Let's cum in his desk." No, 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 no. no. That's not weird enough. Let's make a sandwich of cum. Cum, and we'll cum on bread. Cum bread in his yeah. desk. So when you with this? Oh, I saw that. <laughs> oh, YouTube, you crazy guys. Yeah. You crazy kids. What are they done? They're just them their comments. A comment I can't repeat, but I'll show you after the That's the thing. It's like, you know, I see... Being the live on the YouTube right now. I, crazy see, kids I see the comments. nice things in the Twitter feed, which I haven't checked in a little while. Someone well, this, tweeted me what the YouTube this, feed this looks was like. This was a nice thing. A little thing. different. Mm. It's a nice thing that I can't say. That is so, what it is. It's one of those, like, like I can say Polak. You fucking Polish. I can say, yeah, you and I are, we're Poles. You Polish piece of shit. I'm a Polish. It's You're a thing, Polish It's a thing, shit. too, that I, like... You Italians. Like, growing up, I, like, that wasn't offensive at all. It's like, stupid Polak. And then, like, as I got older, I'm like, oh, is that offensive? Yeah. Yeah, but not if it's like. Oh, well, myself to sleep in my well, it's kind of like, night. well, it's offensive if, if you're Polish. I'm like, well, not really, because you probably are a stupid Polak if you're Polish. So. <laughs> and I am, so. Is that the majority of your blood? Is Polish? Uh, probably. Polish Hungarian. Oh, Hungarian. Yeah. Mm. I'm Italian Polish. I'm Euro and, uh, trash. That's what I am. Welsh. So what's the, ma Welsh what's the majority of your? Blood? See, I don't have like Italian. really a majority. Italian. I'm like t mostly Italian, then Polish, then a little bit of uh, Welsh. I'm like a fucking I'm like a fucking pie from Trivial Pursuit. 
You know, <laughs> I'm like 15% across the board. I got German, Welsh, Polish, Bullshit. Irish, Hungarian. Yeah. So a lot, of, that really, of, a lot of Euro trash and like Ireland. What is that? I'm have you done 23 of me? I haven't. It's fake. It's got to be fake, right? So I'll probably do that and find out I'm Chinese. That big. <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably what'll happen. I'm none of those things I've been saying okay. my entire yeah. life. And then immediately I'll be killed by the Polish people. Yeah, I might do that. Whole thing. Whole this, ra this raises YouTube YouTube You're not question. one of us. YouTube chat's freaking out that they can't believe I'm gold for in siege. Well, look at the fucking videos. Yeah. It says it right <laughs> on top. You guys have gotten better. The we first time good. I came here, I was like, whoo! And the second time I was like, oh, we can work with <laughs> like this. Like, it went from good. <laughs> <"Woo!" laughs> <laughs> you know, don't understand that better from what we were is still not good. Better is better. It's just yeah. better. Yeah, but we went from like. Hey, congrats. So I think the whatever. first time was like, we lost two straight matches, didn't win a round. And then after that, I was like, oh, we actually won. We won a round, we, we won a game, like, that's progress. Baby See, that's, that's getting good, good in yeah. <laughs> So the interesting, the interesting question that keeps getting raised in my head is, so you say, like, majority of your blood is Polish. Majority of your blood is Italian. Polish-Hungarian. Yeah, right. Majority, what would you say? Italian. Italian. I think I'm almost 50-50 British-Italian. British-Italian. So, like, but that's the thing, it's like, you were born in the UK, and you're like, majority is British. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's no one here in the U.S. that would say, oh, majority is the U.S. Every American Indian. Yeah, well, the natives. I, I guess, I, I guess yeah. the natives, but it's like... Let's say they're so, like, American. Then. How many generations of we need parents to go, need to we be need in to the United States more. before you can United say... United States is new, man. Before you can say, like, oh, I've been around for five years. I'd say you have to give it at least one millennium. I think we're, like, we're not going to get there in our lifetime. American. We're going to be like, I'm 50% Italian, 50% American. American. That's what I think. <laughs> I, it's, it's, I heard him fucking screaming <laughs> it from the plane yeah. when he was on. It was like, <laughs> I took Gus's land. It was so great being on the same podcast with Jack and Gus. Hearing Jack like like go on and on about like how like proud he was and how like well, six generation Austin, you know, my family's been here forever. Blah, blah, blah. And Gus is like, cool, yeah. Guess what? I was seventh fuckface until your family <laughs> took it from my family when it used to be Mexico and now it's Texas. You piece of shit. And Gus is and Jeff, Jack's like, mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't me though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, it's like New Jersey. Were the Native Americans there anyway? I don't know. You know, we just colonized, as far as I know, it was a piece they weren't using, you know. I'm good with that. That's why I, you know? I, I embrace the... Uh, dude, dude, we got the, like the first colony. You right. Know, we're in. We're I in embrace the in Irish there. blood in me, because I'm like, I just, you get off easy if you're Irish. Is that what like, gives you your heat? Shit. What? I feel like you're more Irish you're than me, from? though. Like how, how you're pretty hot? Um, yeah, combination of Irish and Italian. Uh, See, I got because, Irish in New Jersey. Because I'm only I'm only a quarter <laughs> Irish and a quarter Italian. What's the rest? I wish I were Syrian. I wish I were a quarter oh, yeah? of anything. I'm fifty percent Syrian. Really? But, yeah, but I don't say that because then I'm gonna get pulled aside at airports. Are you an Alan? Like, Motherfucker, you're half Holy Syrian, shit. and we've been going with like we got another white people in Chimanar. You should be the fucking poster child of Chimanar. Like, look, yeah. But we all right, take a look people. at me. Oh, I got the skin from it my Syrian matter. side. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I tan like a lobster. Do you know how Puerto Rican Ray was? <laughs> it still counts, okay? If it's on paper, it counts. It's true. It's it like counts. Really, my family goes through the airport, right? So it's like how like, Gus is Mexican. I got it's true. It's so true. I've, I've got me and my sister, and then my dad, who's a dually, who's fifty percent Irish, fifty percent Italian. Dually. But then, like, because then his mother is a Sabatino, which you can't get more Italian than that. Dooley and Sabatino made that. And then, like, uh, so then we got us, but then we go through security, and every time, my mom goes to go through, <laughs> and they're like, oh, uh, that name, that's like a Syrian name, huh? Like your maiden name? Yeah. I've been cho chosen Jeez. for additional screening. Every time we go through security, the three of us walk through, and then we go, all right, let's wait for her. And they pull her aside, they do the additional screening, and then we go, and then we go on our way. We're like, sucks to be you. We missed that. <laughs> sucks to be you, ma. Well, yeah. well, I mean, I mean, would suck born? more to be in Syria right huh? now, ma. Where is she born? <laughs> My mom? You're born in the US. Yeah, it's crazy that like a citizen goes through that kind of mm -hmm. scrutiny yeah. just because of the name. I am half uh, Mexican. The rest is Filipino, Chinese, African American. Look at this guy. Fuck we hit yeah. all. We hit all of the yeah. minorities. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, what, uh, <laughs> coincidentally, but check that box. Check that box. Check that box. <laughs> We hired, we hired five things here. Good. We can hire seven more white people five now. We, just, we, gotta, we gotta balance it out now. Oh. <laughs> it's always nice when you hire another not white person. 
It's <laughs> just like not not that I go. It's you know, for the ethnic quota. No, it's like achievement hunter. No, it's not that we go out of our way to hire white people. There's a lot of white people here. It's nice when it's like, oh great, you're There's, not there white. There's a lot of white people. Around. Actually, my, the market uh, is saturated with white people. I, you know. <laughs> My it's true. Own. That's not why we hired Alfredo. <laughs> That's why I said it's a bonus. It wasn't like an affirmative also, action thing. Also, it was just the right person also, for the job. Like again, I didn't hire him. I got. I was like, this guy's working here. Do your face again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm like, this is. What are you? What are you? Yes. Nice call, Jeff. Not that it had anything yeah. to do with and it. I, I, I can't grow like a beard or anything, so maybe that, that also is like the secondary plus right there. Why'd you look at your arms when you said beard? Well, I think it's Well, hair. because I can't, I just you're, can't grow you, a hair. Yeah, look, yeah. you're hairless. I'm you're hair, more hairless than I that's am. That's the Asian part of me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Your, I'm probably Asian. What's your Go, going on. Oh, that's good. Go good? Yeah, 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 I gotta trim that up. But the thing is, like, back, <laughs> back, like, whenever I wear shorts, people be like, do you shave your legs? I'm like, no, I just don't have, there's hair if you look close. Do you not have hair on your legs? Yeah, whip out legs. Well, like, you, have, you do have, now, now, now I have a little bit. Hair. But, like, this is over, like, the past. Oh, my God, there's, like, this, nothing. But this Damn. is over the past, like, year, maybe. You make me look hairy. Yeah, I don't, I don't have Damn. much going wow. for Wow, I would apartment. like that. I would enjoy that. I don't know. Yeah, I, me I too. Oh, beer. I love it, dude. I'm, I'm sick, sick of it. the chest is just nice and bare. It's just bare. Oh, it kind of, it gets, yeah, I can't grow Check out some of this stuff right See that? Oh, yeah, I don't know what that's nightmare. like. That's it's. Yeah, I'll yeah, tell you what it's like. It, it sucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I'm not sucks. missing out. Yeah. I'll get out of the shower if I don't like thoroughly towel this off. I'll put it on a shirt and it'll be soaking wet. Like, Wait, oh, that's yeah. so weird. I've never had to like. Look at this. I dry off my chest. Nothing. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a, it's a baby. load. Of, I would get out of the shower. I'd have a hair dryer and I'd be like, bare. Dude, live for YouTube. You getting enough? This is bare. You get enough? YouTube probably hates us right now, but yeah, it's just. No, they just want to see dicks. I would, I would get out of the shower, I'd you blow dry my hair. I'm pretty hairy. So it nice dry without having to tell oh, you're, you're, you're not them, though. You're I'm not them. Adam, what's going on? What do you got going on there? He's, he's, got, got, he's, he's got, got a lot. He's got a lot going on. on you. Oh! <laughs> he's got a pubic chest. Yeah. Do you not realize how hairy I am, dude? Yeah. I don't feel so like this, I'm the perfect I don't sorry, I'm like in between. I, I am the definition of Wolverine. I'm a short hairy dude. I wasn't so close on you. I just looked over and it's just your bald head. Jeremy, in my experience, chest equal anus. You know, equal in. See, in sort of exactly. I don't have That's anus awesome. hair. There is hair on my hair. ass. Not on the so anus. So when you take a shit, is it does the poop go through a forest to get out? <laughs> I mean, you must have so assume many if I left it, if I left it in that state, I'm sure I would struggle with that. Wow. Okay, but oh, so you gotta get down I don't there. have like a forest back there. Well, so you're but there is hair like, on my ass. Yeah. There's hair in my ass, but it's like see, I don't have not, it on my cheeks. It's just like the the trench. I Let's get what you're see. saying. Oh no, I, I got some on my cheeks. No, no, I get Let's what you're see. saying. I, I got none. Saying. I don't think I have any in the trench. But I, I got some definitely. On my cheeks. How do you not have any? I have some in the trench. I, the trench is like my trench is pretty smooth. You gotta get in there, man. How do you have a I don't, I don't so think your head and your that's trench. Crazy. I don't think my head and my trench are pretty smooth. You've not properly examined your trench. I guess no. That's also a possibility. I don't properly explore my trench. Okay. For business reasons, not because I don't want to be here. But hey, hey, while I piss, play with that bouncy ball. Oh. Alright, Jeff. We only have one. Try and learn a new skill. Real quick. Alright, what's my skill? I don't know. Something with the ball. So try and whip something up. Oh! oh. You can keep going. We'll keep All going right. on this. Jeff's gonna bounce that right in. It's gonna be for everything. See, but when it goes, then that's a bunch of wasted alcohol. This wasted. is the last of that bottle, by the way. All alcohol's wasted on me. Mm. Oh, someone asked on Twitter a while ago. Yeah. Mm. They were asking what I was drinking. Oh! It was only a matter of time. They were asking what I was drinking out of these bottles. This is something. Yeah, go for it. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, he wants to. Oh, wow, fell. dude, it went so fell. far. It came around the world. That might be the worst one you've done yet. Um, today. Someone on our. What I ever did was what I did in the kitchen, and it <laughs> stuck in my forehead. <laughs> Because I uh, I hate to spoil this for people. That was a good one. That was fun. Is that uh, we don't record Avu on Mondays anymore. We record it late in the week so that it can come out for sponsors Typically first. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday or Friday. So we did one today. And someone sent us uh, two boxes full of soda. And it's like different flavors of soda. It's, it's called Sh Spriker? Spriker? Spriker. Spriker. Yeah. So I brought cream soda and then this one's orange soda. And uh, I'm the just... fucking cow is drinking it from the orange. Oh, gross. Who and so I, I use this as uh, chasers. Even though we were drinking maple syrup whiskey. Which that was is, actually uh, really good. Yeah, sort, sort of lage. Not to be confused with the maple syrup whiskey we were drinking in the Crash Bandicoot Let's Watch. This is a different one. Still very good. Do they like this part on the audio podcast? I oh, people please. Would like that, yeah. I don't yeah. like it in real life. Also, this. 
Do they hate it when I do this? So this Jack Daniels right here. Yeah. Uh, you might go, wow, that's almost a full bottle of Jack Daniels. The broadcast must have bought that recently or anything. Nope, that's from my house. Oh, you brought that in? Yep. Huh. I brought that in for a Tuesday night game fight so I could drink during the show. Hmm. Tim Giff? Yep. Tim Giff, I was on that recently. And uh, I thought I was going to be on it again this week, but I'm not. They don't need me. I was going to host it. You got shunted? Oh, wow. Uh, well, because Jack is out, so they I think they're gonna get a replacement host and I don't know what they're gonna get. Oh. It was actually pretty fun. By the way, Eric and Anthony. It's annoying. Jesus. That's really annoying. It's uh, distracting. Uh, Eric and Anthony, who are the Achievement Hunter team, they're like the two guys playing for Achievement Hunter. They're fucking awesome. Good at games? They're pretty good at games, yeah. Oh, you mean like awesome people. Awesome people, oh, okay. yeah. Really funny. I, I said to them, we were talking about how we were going to walk out, because they do like almost wrestling-style entrances, where they play music and you come out. And so I was like, I'm just going to walk out drinking whiskey. And uh, oh. so Anthony's like, all right, well, I'll grab a beer, and then I'll have a beer behind you, and I'll drink that. And I was talking to Eric, and Eric's like, well, I don't drink. So he had a carton of milk. <laughs> so the three of us walked out and Anthony and I were drinking whiskey and beer. And he had milk and he sucked down the milk and then just smashed it on his head. <laughs> That's awesome. Here. I was like, you guys are the best. So, so Alfredo, what are you looking forward to most about being in this rabble of folk? Honestly, just because like previously before Achievement Hunter, I was... A lot of male nudity. Yeah, a lot of male nudity. Yeah. Uh, you can get away with it, no hair. There was, uh, yeah, so I was doing like Twitch streaming on my own. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of like... Being marinara, you know, the girlfriend, isolated for uh, for a couple of years, <laughs> and um, Did you get so lonely? it was yeah, it was just one of those things where well, well previously before that I was at IGN, and it was one of those things where, like I kind of miss being Many around men. like people, and so one of the things that sold me on a Chima Hunter besides like you know just the content and everything was like oh like I feel like these are you guys made it real um, welcoming you know so I was like oh these are people that I could. Hang yeah. out with and whatnot. I'm sure it'll change in like a month. Purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we have a very don't talk to us mentality, so it's good I'm, that you got past I'll that. Yeah. No, no one else in the company is gonna talk to you. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. So I'll be the guy that comes in and be like, hey, you guys wanna go see the It movie together or something? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, I will though. I see movies. <laughs> yes. um, um, cool. You do stuff? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I do stuff. stuff. <laughs> you do I stuff? Do stuff. Oh, do you do I'll do stuff. Let's do stuff. Alfredo does. That's his new Like, are we gonna get like a Game of Thrones season finale type party together? Fuck yeah! That'd be awesome. Thanks for hosting, Alfredo. Oh, bye. Well, yeah. before we come back? I mean, I've been out of house. I'm, so, I'm literally like four minutes away from work. I got, I got pissed. So. An interesting thing that just came call. up. Um, but yeah, just the people. Yeah. We should all hang out outside of work because we never do that. I mean, we do. We, we used to do back in the day. We don't. Yeah. Remember we used to have like, I don't. we used to like barbecue day. and hang out and have like... This well, doesn't happen and this doesn't happen. Well, then happen. you start, I mean, you I can almost guarantee that Alfredo will be at my house before you. have I haven't gotten you in a while. I invited you. I remember, you I remember that time. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. When late. did you invite this, me over? This I invited you over. I said, you and Cash should come over and play some damn Mario Party. You did party. not give me an invite. You said, this in is, a video, you were like, you and Cash should come is, over and play some Mario Party. What does that mean? This is that's amazing. amazing. That's 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 not, so what was I just going to show up that night like you invited me? Jeremy, this is going to actually give me a date. He just did this to me yesterday. He is the king of this. He's like, oh, you never come over. He was fucking hanging out with Tim G yesterday, as he always does. TPG. TPG. He's awesome. He always talks about hanging out with TPG. To me a million times. A million times. Like, oh, I hang out with TPG. Oh, it's awesome. We, yeah, we get bevs. We hang out all the time. Every time I'm like, cool. Yeah, cool. Whatever. And he's like, yeah, we hang out. We hang out. Oh, it's great. It's great. Fucking texts me yesterday a picture of him and Tim G having drinks. He's like, you gotta come out with us one time. I go, you gotta invite me one <laughs> yes, time. Yeah. I always take yeah. a picture when you're like, already there. Not, doesn't do anything. Well, at least you got the photo. Oh, what do you think true. Jeremy and I are doing? To be, right, fair, well, to be fair, we were talking about you specifically. I was like, oh, Michael should come out with us. And then I was like, well, he's obviously got the kid because Lindsay's gone. Right. There's no point inviting him. Sure. Okay, what about before that? I forgot. I forgot I was even hanging out with you. I mean before the child! Let me bring uh, something up to you. You're half! You listen here, freak. Oh, let me bring no. something up to you. Oh, I was shit, we're last night. He's getting hot. hot. He's getting hot. Hey, Jeremy, I was, before you do it, you should drink. Oh, wait, actually, and while you drink, let me, let me, let me just get into this. I'm gonna pee and yell at me in a yeah. bit. Alright. Hey, listen, Jeff. <laughs> we all want to eat better. But when it comes to snacks, sometimes it feels like the whole world is delicious and a billion calories versus boring and tasteless. It doesn't have to be that way. Up your snack game with Nature Box. Nature Box has over 100 snacks that taste good and are actually better for you. All snacks are made from high quality, simple ingredients, which means no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, so you can feel good about what you're eating. 
My favorites are their crunchy barbecue twists and their blueberry nom noms. They're delicious. You're sure to find your new snack obsession at NatureBox. They add new snacks every month inspired by real customer feedback, the latest food trends, and professional chefs. It's so simple, just go to naturebox.com, choose the snacks you want, and NatureBox will deliver them right to your door, and there's no risk. If you ever try a snack that you don't like, don't eat it, NatureBox will replace it for free. And right now, you'll save even more. NatureBox is offering off-topic fans three free snacks with your first order when you go to naturebox.com slash off-topic. That's naturebox.com slash off-topic for three free snacks with your first order, naturebox.com slash off-topic. I like how in there is like, I love their crunchy barbecue twist. I haven't had those. But I have had the clusters. They're so fucking good. I'll take uh, anything coconut related. Yeah, <laughs> Nature dude, Box, I'll take the coconuts. Dude, Lindsay gets that I shit. I will ship them back oh. when I'm done with them. We <laughs> used to fucking get Nature Box and fill those dispensers over there with Nature Box stuff. We haven't done it for a while and I'm fucking sad. That's about probably because there's like 80 million people here now. Those I bastards. Know. So good. The volume there, oh, 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 hey, oh, hey. Oh, 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 I love how they went everywhere. Oh, this is the crunchy barbecue twist. Oh shit! Now I can eat them and be like, they're really good. I gotta try this. Yeah, get your fucking Ooh. sticks out. This is good. That is good. That was good as fuck. Nature Box, they do snacks right. Oh, no come joke. on. Lindsay, Lindsay gets them all the time. They are fucking delicious. Fuck yeah. Not gonna say fuck because the ad reads over. There's something fucking about- Fucking eat them. They're good. Okay, so I just learned that the other day that we shouldn't say fuck during ad reads. I'm sorry. <laughs> that I did that. No, it's more just like per sponsor. So I I, I, like, I did like a dollar really? shake while bad read and I was like I fucking love it and they're like you can't do that oh sorry hey also I was oh, a little back. I was a little oh, tipsy all back. okay um <sighs> so a learning curve Ooh, so good, you hi Jeff um hi Jeff like I said I watch I still watch achievement hunter content like in my free time is he gone gone, gone. okay he's gone he's gone now um so. Evis. So I watch Achievement Hunter content in my free time. Usually it's like, like a loser. Yeah. Usually it's compilation stuff, but there's sometimes that I'll just watch straight up content. I I don't I can't tell you how many times I've watched like the 3D Ultra Mini Golf series and stuff like that because I just find it so funny. Oh, man, such a good one. It was so good. And so the, I was watching one video where Gavin was saying something about going to his place. And I was yelling about the fact that I invited him over and then he didn't come over. <laughs> and he's like we never hang out together, and I'm like, I've invited you, and then you didn't, and like all this stuff. And so Gavin's like, you should come over. I was sitting next to Cat. Cat's Kat. playing some game. I've got Achievement Hunter up on the TV or whatever, and um, you subject her to that. Well, you go. She can leave the room. You're like, you should come over. Do you play? You play Mario Party? I'm like, yeah, I play Mario Party. He's like, you should come over for Mario Party. Does Cat play Mario Party? I'm like, yeah, she plays it. She kicks my ass all the time. You're like, all right, two of you coming over. Mario Party tonight. We're gonna have it. And Kat looks at me and she's like, how long ago was this? And I was like, this was a year ago, at least. <laughs> it was it, a year. What? Was it? was it a year ago? Yeah, it really was. And like, you were just like, oh, I'm gonna invite you up. You guys should come over sometime. And now having you right now being like, I've invited you. I said you should come over sometime. If someone said to me, hey, you should come over sometime, I'm not gonna show up at six o'clock that night and go, hey, remember when you invited me? That's not how it fucking That's works. That's better. Right. Come the next day. It's like, remember that one time you gave me that really vague offer to come over sometime? That time no. is also, now. Time don't right say, now. I should invite you over sometime. Why didn't you come? I don't even know your fucking address. All right. How am I even gonna go there? All right. So, we'll make it real. What is your, like, freest night of a week? We'll What's my real? freest night? Dude, dude, all four of us should hang out. Us four? Yeah, this one too. There's there's yeah. only three nights I there's can't the do. There's the ethnic quota you gotta fill. I, I can't mean, we don't have to, but we can. <laughs> That's the thing, it's a bonus. I can't do Let's Sunday, not Monday, or Wednesday. In the mouth. <laughs> so Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm free. Okay, good. I'd also like so to Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, are all stream I'd also like to stay in cat. Okay, I'm from New Jersey, where there's other than white people there. It's right. nice to see not white people. Like, my entire life growing up, I feel like it's not something that I like register though walking it's around. It's not easily something I'm not counting. Like I am in Austin. I'm like, there's no black people here. <laughs> where, well, where okay, are you walking around? around? Now wait a minute. Percentage wise, are you kidding me? So when you where where you grew up, there was a good mix, is what you're saying. Tons. I grew up. I grew up like uh, I had tons of like a Polish community lived nearby, which is white people, but like Europeans. Um, um, tons of like African American. I went to school like tons of black people. Uh, Indian. I had like a huge like Indian community, like 
one town over from me, uh, and like Asian. Like I grew I'll, up like I'll tons of that. In my town and that here I grew it's up like in, white people and Mexican. That's damn. it. Like in my town, there were, there was like no black people in the town that I grew up in. There was like there was a, there was like a couple, but there was a ton of Indian people where I grew up. My best friends were all Indian people. And like I don't I, I don't know why that's how it worked out, but that's how it worked it out. Like, the country of India. Yes, actual Indian. The, the country of India, not not not, not, not like American dumbass people. Americans. Yeah, I can never tell with India one, one. and not Native American. Yeah. It's not the same fucking thing. Christopher yeah. Columbus was wrong. Don't keep it going. Um, Boy, they really do though. They really mm -hmm. like to. I mean, like I mean, we yeah. watch shit in theater mode that's like from the two thousands, and they say Indian, and I'm right. just like, fuck, Indian in the cupboard. No. Right. It's not. We're talking real Indian, not <laughs> all Damn Indian. It. So, um, like, yeah, so, like, all of my friends were, like, Indian, and, like, so I would go to their house, and, like, um, there was, like, you could smell, like, the, the curry, because they oh, would yeah. eat curry, curry like, every night, sure. and it was, like, a very intense smell and everything, and I was, like, and they, like, they kind of taught me about the, the culture that they had. It's like, why, to and this and day... Sudden, I loved it. I was, like, this is so cool, and like, everything. And, like, like, just for me, it's like really... That's just how I grew it's up. It's really stupid transition but like it's more of the dialect like I knew so many people that had accents yeah that didn't sound like they were born in America mm -hmm. where early on with Lindsay like oh, I don't know so I don't know good. I don't know if it's yeah. like people here in general and I assume because there's not much of a dialect there's like the southern kind of southwest twang and uh, people speak Spanish which a lot of people here speak Spanish but like they're not used to accents like like you either speak English or you speak Spanish in Texas Right, like yeah, I can Texans that, yeah. can't fucking hear accents. Where it's like the number of times we go through a drive-through, and the woman on the speaker's like, <laughs> and Lindsay's like, I have no idea what the fuck she said. And I'm like, she said, do you want a number one? Like, I'm exactly, yeah. I'm like Lindsay. I'm, I'm the Lindsay. It's because of like just growing up with shitloads of people having different yeah. dialects and accents. Where I'm like, no, you can, you can fucking. Yeah. I grew, up in, I grew up in San Francisco, so that's exactly like it's just a melting pot right there. But yeah, I did. Hearing or that like Texas is very white, think God, my girlfriend is white. So it's like <laughs> that's the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario, though, the worst case oh, scenario it's oh, like, oh, oh she's you're good. having a day out with her gardener. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> it's like so. No, I'm I'm honestly kind of on board with Lindsay, and like I can't not on board with like I agree. Fuck that. I, I no, agree. I'm, like, I can't understand. No, I'm people. like I just can't. Like you already know, I have I have trouble understanding people who are speaking English. Yeah, perfectly you got trouble with no accent. listening right off the bat. I can't listen. So when people <laughs> have an accent, I can't do it. Like literally, the only accent that I'm okay with is Indian. Dude, it's also like my friends' families. You know, Lindsay, like I'd walk in and like, oh, Jeremy, how are you doing tell? today? And I mean, like, you, you know, like literally, today? that's how they would they would be like, you know. Jeremy, you're staying for pizza tonight. No, 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 no. Like, like, it was like, fine until you get the do, 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 do. like they do. But, they do that's like, the yeah, like, like, the like, oh, yeah, like yeah, you know the, the the accent was like, and I didn't want to do like it's always when people do um, impressions of like people doing an Indian accent, they always shake their heads, right? <laughs> yes, they always do it, and to an extent, it's like it well, kind of happens. Comedians. It does like every I feel like every stereotype is somewhat based in reality, but it's just blown up. They do like there is kind of a little bit of a this. The Indian yeah. people, you know, you did that. Yes, my uh, my they my did. doctor, my pediatrician that I had until I was like twenty was Indian. Yeah, so it's, and it's like and like he he had a thick. He was from India. He had like yeah, a exactly. Thick so fucking it's like my friend's parents were from India. So it's like I was totally used to that shit growing up. People mm -hmm. here, they either think I'm Australian or they think that I'm pretending to be British. Well, like, like I've how... met people who like like Jeff's neighbors were not convinced that I was actually. So Korean. what's your what is your dialect? Where like where in in the south of England. Just south, like, is, is that what they call it? Just south of England accent? Yeah, I mean, you can nail down accents from, like, different regions, but there's not many just because... There's a south of England. <laughs> south of England. <laughs> yeah, I it's just really England is a lot smaller. <laughs> England's a lot smaller, so they're, like, much more compressed. What's the gross one? There's one that's disgusting. What is it? The gross, the gross one? one? Uh, there are some that are very extreme what? sounding. Um, <laughs> Liverpool, which is the Scousers. What the hell? Scousers, yeah. that's the one I was thinking they're, of. They're, they're like... That's, I knew you were talking it's about. It's probably, yeah. like... <laughs> I mean, aside from like going up into Scotland and like Newcastle with the Geordies, it's very like you have to really like. What's Danny Dyer? Oh, he's just Cockney. Cockney. Cockney was what he's I was like. He's like south. Yeah. He's like mm. sort of where I'm from, but just in London. Yeah. It's Cockney's like London, accent is the one I was thinking it's of. It's like the Gavin's the, posh. I would say as we learned from James. No, posh not means like rich. Shit. Doesn't, isn't posh like rich? Well, and that's 
That's why James Buckley called him out. Ah. Uh, mm. There's a lot, there's a lot of different I learned all these terms from the shows that I watch. You watch a lot of Channel 4. You watch more British TV. I than understand I do. a lot of like British lingo. So does that mean that obviously you understand Indian accents? Do you understand a lot of British? Do you like do you understand me pretty well? And to an extent, like I know like snog to an means extent. to make out. Yeah. Like if you snog somebody, you're making out with them. Like the a, thing, you know, like the, if you um the the like chav is like a it's it's like a almost a hipster kind of like it's like chav is like a uh, it's like a jockey, like jock kind of person. So like not chav. a hipster at all. Then. No, not a hipster. Totally like, that's why I corrected it. But I would say it's not like accurate a... at all. What's Wait, a what do you think, chap? Sort of like um, it's derogatory. It's uh, like. Yeah, but if you were if you saw someone, you were gonna ex- describe them as the a chav. Were running what would suits? they have to be doing to be they like, that's like a chav. running suits? If they were like wearing hoodies and smoking in like an area where you're not supposed to loiter. Oh, so you, so chavs are like are like, are like beatniks almost you know, like. I don't know. I don't know what I could. Yeah, I'm I would, trying to find a good word I that I would use. I again, but like delinquents is something your grandfather would use. I wouldn't use like, it. Like what yeah. the fuck would we but say? But that's the closest thing we have to it. I don't know, I don't know to what it. to say. Like a piece hoodlum. of shit, a hoodlum, <laughs> a thug. You're a thug. I don't know. Like, I don't know like a real word for that. That's not like some old person just yelling at youth. You know, who hey, got damn thugs? It's Chaz, like, what are they doing? <laughs> they're at the park. What's another term? What's another term you think of? Like, what's a term? A British term that Americans don't use? The thing about minge. The minge. thing about you, but you use minge all I mean, the time. He uses everything all like the time. Like minge you off is like piss you off. Minge. Yeah, but minge is also like fifty different things. That's yeah. the other thing I will say Vagina. about like British slang. What's up, Ryan? They've Hi, got Ryan. like nineteen up, uses for every fucking word. Right. <laughs> I heard you lied to Jeff to make it sound like you weren't a fucking asshole with that funny thing. <laughs> oh, oh Ryan, there I'm it is. In, I'm impressed that you're like two hours delay on it. I didn't tell the story because he made me tell it. It's true. <laughs> So I love Ryan because I know Ryan with any game because I I, like, uh-huh. I I primarily do shooters right so I know mm-hmm. I can lean on Ryan for all my shooters so to like whatever what? and Jeremy to not shoot. I say Ryan's the best shooter. No, no, no. no Jeremy too. Yeah, I found that out. I, I found it out um, during the lap the, with the get good I think four or something like that mm-hmm. for Siege. I was like, oh shit, Jeremy's whooping. Jeremy's much right better now. than I am. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ryan. Well, like PUBG, I'm like, all right, like Ryan's my like lean. Here's the difference between me and Ryan. All right, like I. I can just shoot. If there's a gun, I'll shoot a guy. Ryan's really good at learning, like, he's good at the learning curve of it, of like, this guy can't just shoot, he can also do all this stuff. And Ryan's really good at learning all that other, like, all those other things that I just, I can't be bothered with. I'm a little, I'm a little I have more, a trigger. I'm a little better at this, the larger strategic stuff. Yes, the, right. yeah. like, Ryan's now, good at strategy. Now that you're here, you mm-hmm. should be able to fairly sort of tell your side of this. Audio story. Going this, back this, to the this, beginning the way, of the, the way, two, two hours way. and fifty it's hours ago. It's only I just want to say the story that Gavin immediately mentioned. Mm-hmm. Then one second said, "I don't want to talk about it." After he brought it up, no, I want to talk about it. I just didn't want to be the one to tell it because I don't want to be biased in my version of it. That's correct. All right, yeah, I understand that. Makes that. Sense. I wanted Jeff to hear it from your bystander. Jeff gave it. It gave it. He said, "What did he say?" He said, "52 percent Ryan's fault, 48 percent Gavin's a piece of shit or yeah, something, or you're an asshole." Dickhead, yeah. Well, I mean, there's the, that's not even taking into account Jack. It's it's taking <laughs> Jack, Jack out didn't of the do equation. anything though. Jack just. Jack Click. was the entire doer of All right, the thing. Let's hear it from Jack. you. Let's hear it from you. Okay. Jack was let's a try t- and wrap it up. He was a typical Here's- Nazi. He was just following orders. I didn't All ask right. him to d- delete anything. He did that of his own accord. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Right. Okay. Here's, we've here's, just, we've here's just what happened. Recording. Alfredo, Go. Here's what happened. Run. Uh, <laughs> so no, let's done. start. Let's take it to the beginning of the recording. Okay. Oh uh, man. We set up audio. More whiskey. I I tuned the two tracks five and six that we usually use. I'll keep up with you. And then that is the end of my involvement in the audio setup. Yeah, I'll walk away from it. In fact, I think I went to the bathroom. Agreed. Um, agreed. Okay. I agree with this. After the fact, Jack looks at me and is like, this is taking too long to export. I'm going to delete some tracks. Which ones did you use? I said, we use five and six. And so he d- took it upon himself to delete everything. Now, Gavin, how far away from Jack's desk would you say your desk is? Uh-oh. Pretty pretty close. Would you say that Jack's voice is one that that carries in a room I will say, if it, just from my perspective, I we filmed the video, we yep. stopped. I didn't hear any of the conversation until the yelling started. Yep. So I didn't hear the whole. Jack I will also say, just saying, I'm, if, I'm just saying, I'm like, duh, 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 what's happening? We were rushing time. Yeah, I, I never was in my stream key. I was oh, doing all that shit. Oh, also I, I was. I was, someone is fair, not, I was putting the fucking couch back. If someone like, is not within a foot or two from me. 
They might as well, well we not know, exist. Talk. Jeremy, we know that <laughs> yeah, they don't you're, do you're you, that's, it's, You're good. Situational awareness is not one of your things. <laughs> I didn't know something had gone awry until Jeremy, the stream Jeremy, you didn't have a gun, so not you only, had nothing to do. So, if I, okay. Give me a gun, I'll do work. You, you would have shot Jack. A gun no is like gun? a microphone. No. What? What? What do you say? I didn't request him to delete anything. He did that of his own accord and asked me what tracks we used. I answered to the best of my knowledge. Wasn't good, though. <laughs> You That's it. Present. This is it. This is you exactly what we explained. Exactly you could have been here. Exactly what we you explained. Just stepped up to the plate and been like, fuck. Also, <laughs> you're being so whiny about it. You fucking double recorded it. We've got it on your webcam audio. We've got it on the camera audio, and we've got it on the board audio. We've got mics for fucking days. Hey. Right. And you pitched a fit. Hey, you know what, guys, like someone guys, ran over your guys, dog. Guys, guys, I, I wore the crest of friendship today. Hey, that's <laughs> us. That's, that's us, pal. It's Digimon. Okay. Yeah, that's my Digimon. Dude, card. Digimon right, was us. so underplayed. I'm it a was... fucking loser. I don't Here's care. Here's Alfredo. Thirty years old. I finally got my Digi. Okay, let's my do Pokemon. Let's Pokemon was cool to collect. Okay, wait, wait. Right? Digimon was good for the story. Yu-Gi-Mon, um, not Yu-Gi-Mon. Yu-Gi-Mon? Yu-Gi-Mon was where I was at. So many shots. Dark Magician, I choose you! Yu-Gi-Mon was cool to collect, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh was cool to play, but Digimon, I was always like, it was always like, Gabutemon, Digivolve, to War, Greymon, I was like, losing my shit every time. What you're saying makes no sense. It doesn't, it doesn't. That was a terrible It was... This is like evolves into look, it's the, uh, Metal Guru. I'm gonna let away you. Please, Agumon warp Digivolves into War Greymon. But I True. appreciate. Yes. I'm gonna level you. I turned Digimon on once, and they said, "Oh no, it's Flame Mon," and I turned it off. Yeah, they were not. <laughs> that was my only experience with Digimon <laughs> ever. Well, why no. did you feel that you needed to say that to an empty room and a TV? Flame? What? That I needed to say? I'm done. No. Oh no, it's Flame Mon. No, the TV oh, the said TV it. I turned on it. Digimon. Okay. They said in it, Flame Mon is coming. That's and it was two. a thing made yeah. of flames. But Voltor, that was like, I'm, I'm yeah, about. Yes. I'm about I'll, give, dude. I'll give Pokemon this, at least the early gens, one and two. Way better at naming the Digimon. Digimon fell into like, what's that? Is, that a, is that a cup? Cupmon. Yeah. What's that? Is that a worm? Is. Mon worm is. Mon. is it? Like all the originals? Cool. I mean, Voltorb's not, not, not that bad of a name. It's I'm, an hey, orb I'm, I'm, that I'm, has yeah. voltage. I was just, gonna yeah. say, if, it does. if just, you're gonna argue that the naming convention's different, that I'm, sounds like exactly <laughs> yeah. what no, it is. I'm, I'm just saying, right. again, you can see how Voltorb is a little more than like voltage guy. That one is clever. Volt, Volt Mon. Mon. I like you know, like the Pikachu is like a mouse. He's fucking out of nowhere. No, no, Pikachu is like the Japanese words for... No, it's not. It's like spark and mouse. Something. It yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. It comes from like makes a thing Pikachu. that makes sense. I tried to give him credit. But like Digimon's like Leaf Guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, the naming mean, convention Pokemon. wasn't that great. It's true. It's, it's, it's Mon. Well, that's the thing right there. But then it's every now and again, Mon. Pokemon gives up where it's like, yeah. oh, Grimer's going to evolve into this giant blob of nothing. What are we going to call it? Muck. Yeah, but still, like, it's yeah. just like the fact that Digimon is just like, Fuck it. I feel like every Pokemon doesn't end with Mon, but Digimon, they're like, they all I think Mon. Pokemon, yeah, really like, gets the lazy end. in the character creation. Once I saw, like, I don't know, Gen 3 or 4 when they had, like, a, just a straight up chandelier, I was like, Chandelure! Okay. Dude, don't get, don't get started on that. I was though. like, mm, Audio do, not, listeners, do not be Gen, do not be a Gen 1er. Here's the thing the internet will crush you. Because, uh, and because, well, see, we're all Gen 1ers. The internet's gonna crush me now because I'm a official achievement hunter, so well, I'm gonna get crushed done, on. You're done anyway, you, done. Mother, you dumb yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, How dare done. you get hired here? Yeah. Um, but the other thing is, like, oh, no, everyone who watches us. The Reddit's on board so far. So far. Give them a week. So far. Give them a week. Oof. No, no. They'll be, oh. they'll be calling for your fucking... Oh, your, oh yeah, your, in, your in due fucking, time. Yeah, in you due haven't time. talked in the video yet that's post-hiring. <laughs> no. Yeah. They all love Alfredo the Guest. You're, yeah. How dare you work here? That's, I already knew. That's that's as as I, was like, I was like, as soon as I get hired, yeah. that's where shit goes It, it really yeah. is, though, for yeah. some reason. I don't know why it this works. This fucking way. piece of shit? Great community member. Fuck you when you got hired. It really is. People well, still I, hate me <laughs> three years later. I do. Michael hates me. Well, but I still work I with you. I'm professional. No, about I don't it. know you why you don't hate me. Here's I hate you so much. I can't believe you don't hate me. And the best thing is, he's drunk, so he knows you. You know what? The clock's still running. The clock's still running. You don't hate him right now. The rap is out. I made a deal. I fucking lost the deal. I fucked it up. I still hate him. There's like I can't, I, there's well, nothing I can do. Well, <laughs> you could be not you so much. Well, that wasn't the deal. I think because no, no, it wasn't the deal. It wasn't anything. the deal. But the fact no, no. is, if there was, was money deal. on the line, I'd have to pay Gavin. I'm just saying, his, 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 his 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 you hate me. You hate my guts. I still want you to come over and play Mario Party. I get it. 
<laughs> and then we, and then we, with, with no and then, set date and time. And then we oh, play man. fucking, we play Gmod Guess Who, and Gavin hates it and wants to end the video, and I'm like, I hate Gavin. <laughs> it, look, to be fair, it wasn't good, and it was a waste of time. But we could have made it good! No, it That's wasn't. That's the thing! It's our job! It's our job to yep. take a game that might not be good, Jeremy and then that. make it funny because Jeremy we're comedians we and it's our that. job! We can do that with 98% of games. That one we could have done in any game. Name a game that we couldn't have done what we did in. We might as well have been playing Halo. What did Halo. you just say to me? Name a game that we couldn't have done what we just did in. What does that mean? It means we played, it, what he's saying is what we did in the game. We could have done that. To. What other game could we have done that in? He's saying there's nothing unique in I'm, that game. We were playing. I'm disagreeing I'm with him. Yes, but uh, that's what he's saying. Gavin's all about the opportunity cost. The, the, there's, what, there's Gavin, nothing to Gavin, do or, with that. Dead or, body we just or when we room. come in and it's like we need. I know that we need Achievement Hunter content. I understand that I don't have Trevor's job. I understand that it's not my job to say we need this and we need that. You're goddamn that. right it's it is. But I know, but I know for a fact we Trevor's need too busy a things to, to do. Or, you, you know, we need a things to he's, do. Or we need a let's watch. He's been working here like two days. He's already on the Trevor comes in his mouth train. Oh, well, well that's, that's, that's the whole thing earlier. <laughs> it's like, I understand that we need a things to do. I understand that we need... Like, what you, you don't know, understand like is and Gavin Gavin's Free, like, All right, much well, like Miley Cyrus, of us here. cannot be tamed. I, he can't I be know tamed, it. Jeremy. I know it. He can't be tamed. I will do whatever if we're, if we're going to make a video. If we're going to film it. We did if, film it. Yeah, we but that's not the, the point. Whole... That's not the, we did film. We did film hide and seek. And the whole time you were like, I hate this. And like the, 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 even when there were funny moments, you were like, all right, let's stop. <laughs> I'm Gavin. Hate it. And like, it's just. Ah! Okay, I will say you. that happens in one, one, <laughs> maybe like 150 videos. It's like this, this game ain't good. And, sometimes and, though, sometimes in the one in 50, uh, you're not right. You just don't want to be there. Uh, I was right on this one. I don't was, know if you were. It was. We were just standing around. It was like prop hunt without the prop. It wasn't it's great, but you didn't give it a chance. I will flip full reversal on that fucking Shantae Pirates Curse game. That game is an incredibly well received game. That let's watch me, you, and Jack did when you climbed the shelf in the middle of the game because you didn't want to be there. That game is good. Like, right, but people watch that. You game. can tell they before like we it. shoot a video how many views the game will get. It was a waste of our time that's to be in that that's game. Not that's, that's not true, not true at all. For that game, no. how many not views true did it at get? All. Because, it, and, I, and I, I, will, I will stop your argument right here, then you just don't be in the video. Yes. That's fine, just don't do it. If you don't want to do it, don't be like, ah, There's YouTubers out here. I'm, I'm, YouTube, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying the, the video is only going to get so many views, it's a waste of our time to be in this, instead of a different game, that would get more views. There's entertainers out there that take that game and they make it into a game that does extremely well on YouTube because they're fucking professionals because they oh, act like they like to be in the game and because they have fun and joke around with each other and not just say I don't like the game, I'm gonna fucking just tank the whole fucking video because I don't like the game. That's what pisses me off, Gavin Free. But, you wanna come over later? But, <laughs> but when you tank that Shantae's Curse video, you did it in a very funny way. Ugh. That was I, funny when you climbed the shelf. I don't do that very often. <laughs> don't. I'm a, I agree with you. I just thought in that instance, let me tell you my, my perspective, I'm playing. It was this. Okay, we're playing this video. All right, Gavin and Jack, are they hate this fucking game. I can just, I can plow through it and just keep playing it, or I can just let them tank it. Fuck it, they don't want to be here. Let's just crush it. Just fuck this game. Let's just crush well, it. And it worked better that way because I went with the flow. I was like... Jack was like, this game sucks, it sucks, this sucks, this sucks. And then Gavin was like, ah. <laughs> And he literally, I'm not exaggerating when I say he got up from his desk and climbed a shelf to which I picked up my webcam and pointed it at him. And he was like, is the video done yet? <laughs> I know that's that, a funny way to tank a video. I mean, I know what that's like, right? Like, so I spent like two years like <laughs> doing the whole solo Twitch stream thing, and there's, there'd be times where I'm like, um, what really boomed like my whole Twitch career was the whole like Destiny, right? But it, was, it got to a point where I was like, I'm two thousand hours into Destiny. I don't want to play this game anymore. It's two thousand. Yeah. 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 But at the same time, it's like this doesn't. At the same time, it's like also bad. Yeah, also, yeah, let me right? let me backtrack like, on this. You played Destiny, and people watched you. Yeah. Can you tell us how to do that? It's, I, well, <laughs> well, I hope you're enjoying the, that because it's a Here's the thing. It's really popular right now to hate Destiny. 
So it's really popular for Achievement Hunter to love Destiny, and no one's gonna watch it. That's true. And I want to play Destiny two so bad, but we're not gonna be able Whoa. to make any videos yeah. because everyone yeah. hates it. Yeah, I That's noticed that when we, when we filmed the, the, the Destiny. We all noticed that well. actually. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're referring to. I was like, Ooh. Jeff walked in and went, "So uh, we can't film any Destiny two yep. at all." It <laughs> <is>. <laughs> everyone hates it, and no one wants to so watch if you, it. If you want Destiny, make sure you Damn it, scream loud and proud. It's so fun. It's so fun. I don't know. Maybe, away with maybe, maybe with, it is. Maybe with raids just... and stuff. Like I was saying, like there's always when there's a new raid comes out, there's always like the, like, I, I literally, the first to finish. The I was rant like, you went on about Matt Bragg. I, I, <laughs> I went on a short rant, okay? Because I love Destiny. We all love Destiny. The audience does not like Destiny, but I will say the audience that watches it, they still love the raids. They don't love it, you know, to watch it and give it views, but the people that watch it really like the raids. I feel like if there's anything in Destiny, if no one's watching it, we can't film anything. Fuck it. I'm still gonna play the game on my own. I think we're all gonna play the game yeah. on our own. We'll just film the raids. Like that's it. You know, yeah. we did a ton of Destiny One videos, and they were like okay. Uh, but it's like by lot, the time yeah. we got to like the fourth raid, nobody gave a shit. You know, yeah. so it's like we might as well fucking save the Destiny videos for the raids if it's gonna wear on yeah. people. So the rant I went on when Jeff <laughs> walked in, and he was like. Well, we can't make Des Destiny 2's out. Doesn't matter. Nobody wants to watch it. And I was like, <laughs> we're going to make the raids, and that's it. Tell Mad Bragg right now, he better <laughs> not make any fucking things to do in Destiny 2, because he's going to steal all our views, that the audience, they only have enough... They only have enough for like three Destiny videos, and he's gonna burn them all. I don't want him playing years. volleyball. I was like, what? I was like, he better be doing nothing. I don't want to see him playing with a ball. I don't want to see him fucking running in circles on the Citadel. Listen, great videos, Matt, but I swear to God, if you take the raid from me, I'll kill you. I will bury you. All right. The awful thing about I'll the raid is there's so much individual hours for everyone involved to get to the point where we dozens, can dozens, if not yeah. hundreds. Yeah. But it's it's not awful because it's fun. It's I don't go fun. home and it's feel a like it's experience. a chore. I, I play that game. Like Destiny 1, I was setting alarm clocks for 3 a.m. because that's when the, <laughs> yeah. like, the cycle changed. Yeah. I just yeah. feel like we shouldn't be playing stuff that the audience actively doesn't want us to play. I agree. Yeah. Which is why it's, we're not it's, playing It's like it. insulting almost. It's why we're not playing it. Yeah. It just sucks. And there's which, always going to be the vocal minority. But what if they do? Which you can't. Which, you do which have to unfortunately, well, I mean, a we'll large portion rates. of the time, the videos that they don't want us to play is it's Jeremy. It's, my it's sponsored content. My sometimes. argument or back tell to or or tell. Well, well, no, I mean like when it's sponsored content, it's like that's when you really have to go all out to make sure that it is a good video. Because sometimes yeah. the games we get aren't the best games in the world, but we still play them, and like you got to make sure that it looks like you know that you're making it. I'll tell you this. If the if the personality isn't enjoying it, the people watching it aren't going to enjoy it. I'll yep. tell you this. Achievement Hunter and like the history of Achievement Hunter and sponsored content, I feel like we are better than ever right now. Yes. Like 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 all the shit we're doing with the Let's Play Presents, like Ubisoft. Ubisoft is amazing. Awesome. I love like, all the like, shit we're like doing. Like we got to play that fucking Rabbids video. Star that was Trek. Fucking awesome. Star, Star Trek, Trek was fucking awesome. Was awesome. We need to play some more Star Trek. Like those are yes. good fucking videos. And like not only are they sponsored, but we get to do them early because like they're bringing us the game right. before it's out. It is like the perfect fucking blend of sponsor content and content that fans want to see. Mm -hmm. yep. And I feel like this year particularly, like the last year, we've been doing it better than ever. Because you're right, it sucks when it's like there's a game that people don't want to see. Right. And yeah. it's like Destiny 2, uh, not sponsored. Still no one wants to watch people it. People don't want to watch it for some reason. And, <laughs> and we have people fun are pointing playing out, that. It's so much people fun. People are pointing out on the, on the Twitter feed that Destiny is one of those games that does pretty well on Twitch and live streams and stuff like that. And yeah, it's not it what we do on YouTube. It's it true. doesn't do yeah. as well. It's true. And that's that's um, my job is to figure out like with the whole live stream situation, right? It's so like with Destiny. Goddamn right it's your job. So yeah. stream the raids. Yeah. So that's the thing, right? I'll Good. fucking stream. So like awesome. people people don't like I'll us do playing up. Destiny content, but every time there's a new raid out, there's always a first to like world's first Oh, well, we will never play. Like, yes, but here's the thing. Okay, yeah. You I'm going to market it as world's for, uh, like world's worst, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's the thing. Like that's the best part. It's like, 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 the world's last. Defense. Yeah, it's <laughs> world's, yeah. It's literally, no that, one um, beat this after us. World's worst, where it's like the expectation is not there, but you can see us like struggle and fuck around. Ours will come whatever. out right after the guy it's, that does it by himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's something that Battlegrounds suffers from. Actually, is that the Battlegrounds is still one of the highest viewed games on Twitch. It really still is. People just love it and watching people who are really good at it. And on YouTube, 
across almost every channel does not do well. Even people like Cnanners, who's got millions of views and everything, like his Battleground videos just don't do well. And it's, it's, I don't know what it is about that game in particular is that people are in for the, like, maybe they're in for the long run. They want to see everything that goes into it. That's in a Twitch stream. They want to well, be there for it's just two different and in YouTube, audiences. They don't want right? to watch it. You have the Twitch audience that's used to just sitting there with the downtime and the running and the doing nothing, and then you have the YouTube audience that's just like, like okay, good shit. like it's just super cut, right, yeah. of yes. everything. So it's kind of like, I mean, that's my job, right? Try, try and figure out like, okay, like what are we going to stream, and then from there, like how do I cut that into a let's play that's that's going to fulfill like all our audience's needs on every single like aspect. I wonder if there's a, an element to it, like. You, People don't really consume sports after the fact as much, right? Like the, the yeah, audience right. that watches it live versus Shy the audience of like the that day later, like la 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 la, yeah, I didn't exactly. see the game, I didn't see the game. No one watches it a month later. Right. Yeah, yeah agree. It is, I wonder if that it kind of applies to this too, because it's like the the intensity of watching it live, like this is happening right now, something could happen, I, I could be here yeah. when this happens versus like... Everybody would have already told me if something happened. It's true, but like Alfredo said, it's definitely two separate audiences. Yeah, it is. You people yes. have completely you want different. that or you want the other, the to, other like content, and we do both. A perfect example to... is when you look at Twitch and you look at what are the top viewed games right now. Yep. And no matter what's come out, no matter what is new, always up there will be fucking Dota, Dota, Overwatch, League, League Counter Strike, uh, Counter Strike Go. Yeah, all of that will be up there, and it's something that. Someone would never go on YouTube and go, I'm going to watch a Dota video. This is like, no one will do that, but people will flock in yeah. the thousands I mean, to watch Starcraft, on Twitch. right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, who the fuck is watching StarCraft videos? So like, it's, it's like pre recorded. It's, no, it's, it's, it's interesting different. because on but Twitch, they'll watch but the that's live. That's like match. StarCraft is like fucking huge yeah. as far as like competitive. Like StarCraft 2 is fucking huge still. Yeah, it was, it's finding that balance, right? Because then on Twitch, it's like they'll watch the full match, but then on YouTube, they want the super cut of it, right? Like they want like the highlights and the reels and all that kind of stuff, or like the guides, that type of stuff. But then on Twitch, that audience is already groomed to like, okay, I get it. There's gonna be downtime. This is live. Like, understand that. So YouTube it's like they more like want the experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, like I said, people, in my opinion, like uh, of Twitch, like the the primary like Twitch audience, like they just want to be a part of it. You know yeah. what I mean? They want to like, be a part of the moment. Like, from I don't give a start shit. I don't give a shit that it yeah. takes six hours. I don't give a shit that you're like feeding your dog in the middle of the video, yep. you know what I mean? They're just like, I want to be there for that. I want to yeah. be like, man, hour one was okay. Hour two was fucking crazy. Hour three, eh, so whatever. Yeah. And I did the dishes. But hour four, and I would say like, I, this is me just kind of assuming, but based on everything I've seen and read, like most people that watch Twitch, they watch it and they put it on the background. You know what I mean? Yes. Because it's like, yep. and it's something 100%. it's something that we don't do as far as like we do with streams. We do weekly streams. And even still to this day, people are like, when do they stream? Well, we stream every Wednesday at a, about three o'clock central mm. by about yeah we're we'll try to like late. we're we're terrible but the thing is like most like and that's fine that hits an audience of like oh you watch you, watch, you like streams watch our stream we'll stream for two hours but like most streamers that stream stream for like three, four, hours, four hours six hours night. you know what I mean it's like I'm gonna stream it's a job four to six hours a day yeah. Yeah. four or so days a week so it's like we're still on the point of like. Hey, we got this fun little two-hour stream thing. All right, see you next week. It's also not on so Twitch. So it's it's no, it's not on Twitch. Which yeah, is, uh, which is true. Yeah. Which is well, clearly, Twitch doesn't do multicam they, they, stuff. They, yeah, they so. don't have the multicam yeah. stuff. So. I will say that's a it's super underutilized thing. That's awesome for our streams is the multicam yeah. on YouTube. I mean, we could we could. Work it so that that was a possibility. You'd have to manually multicam it on Twitch. But you, would, you would have to have I like six different channels. You would have to have six different channels. Yeah, I don't know that there would be a benefit to it though. I assume. We don't make, yeah, but there's a yeah. multi broadcast system I, that you can put in yeah, I could not I don't, convince myself that Twitch is not setting up something like this though. There, oh, there no, I doubt that. You know, right. eventually it's going to hit. So then that, there must that, be something at that coming. point. Like, Why would Twitch do that? Yeah, I will say it's like Twitch is solo streamers. I mean, that's what Twitch is. But the thing is, it's like. It but that, could be that, something that, that, that might not be. There's right. a lot of like different programs where it's yeah. like right now there's it's a true. program that just, got that just got introduced where you can like specifically with Battlegrounds right where you can do your own feed but say you die you can actually switch an OBS to a different feed that's feeding into your 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 channel mm -hmm. so that way you can watch that person. But that's not something the audience can control. Exactly, it's not. So it's right. it's trying to find that balance. Trying Maybe to figure out. Well, there are things like out there I mean, like uh, who knows? that will sure sync I mean. up two different feeds for you. Like whenever I, I will. stream with Meg, they yeah. there's a, a program that will put ours side by side, so you can watch what's going on. No, no. no. <laughs> Thanks, what guys. Is this thing.
We're going. Uh, so oh, yeah. we're going oh, soda. Okay. By the way, oh yeah, it was all so it's soda. Do you want a sip of it? It's really good, I actually. Do not. It's orange, orange soda. I don't. You don't like orange like soda? Oh, Diet Coke for days. I do, I do, I do. I do. All right, Michael. I will do orange for orange soda. I want to say because Christ, because I'm so watching the hashtag. Is that's good? not so much orange soda. That's orange creamsicle. It is. is it's orange is. cream oh, soda. Even better. It's orange cream soda. Yeah, like it's the, really uh, good. Orange creamsicle ice pop. The cream soda was fantastic. Yeah. It's like orange say, soda here, Michael, with ice can, cream and sugar, basically. You can pour that shot there. I want to say because I'm watching the hashtag. We should end this soon. I do not. Yeah, like yeah. I want to play some Battlegrounds. So do I. I do yes, not. I, mean, yeah. I feel like. I mean, I always wanted to be known like, uh, that Gavin is one of my favorite coworkers. You were like love so working screaming that you hated him. Just no, here's you know. the thing. It's a I different kind of hate. There are things. I that also, I, I'm, I'm guessing this based on Gavin literally said nothing for like 15 minutes, and Jeremy's looking at his phone. It's like uh, people think I hate Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to be. I don't want people to think that I like hate working with Gavin because I absolutely you do just not. hate him sometimes. I love working with Gavin. I right. think he's Jeremy, tearing I'm up. Sorry he's tearing up a I'm sorry that I was a minge in the uh, Guess Who video. It's okay. I just thought there were meant to be NPCs on that game. All right. Well, I think there yeah. were. Well, no, 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 not the not the Guess Who video. The no, you hide and seek. I don't think there are hide and seek. There are might be NPCs. Hide and seek. Yeah, there was. It, to be fair, it wasn't a great right. game. I was just confused as to like I didn't know. We could get into it. It's okay. Uh, Fuck I, it. I really enjoyed the hug, and I don't want to go anywhere. There might be maps that make it better. Fuck it. It's over. Yeah. It's done. Oh, the podcast is done? Or that was no. Done? Uh, we'll take a shot. A theater mode! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Did you know a new theater mode comes out today? I knew, and I was already going to say it. They didn't put it up there or anything. Uh, holy shit, are we finally here? Is this getting lucky? Is this it? I'm excited. Thumbs up. It is. Up. It is. Okay, theater mode this week. Do yourself a Let's favor. For the episodes that I've been in, best Best movie this season. I have not seen a better one. Uh, do yourself a favor, check it out. Trevor's in it, so if you want to see Trevor in a theater mode. Oh shit! My That's baby's cool. in it, so if you want to see my baby sitting the way, there. Means for the no one was in that day, so Trevor stepped in. No, that was it. Uh, <laughs> that's true. We didn't, it's not like we said, Trevor, you're moving up. You're, yeah. It was it like, was like real, no one's here. Real Iris, not like a live feed. It was like it's, the actual. Is real her well, real, in there? Real Iris was already I, in another one I, this I, season. No, that was it, right? No, because I was in the one that Iris was oh, in. Oh, then I lied, and she's not in this one. <laughs> and I told you. Oh. I told We've already just, had to back out of one promise. I just lied. One promise gone already. Yep. I, I it's all a house of cards. What video was she in? Oh, my God, I just remember. It was the thingy. It was the thingy. It was the thingy because the ending. I remembered the ending, and it was oddly inappropriate for a baby. Nothing about that was appropriate. <laughs> yeah, but especially the ending. You're right. Especially, I mean, a baby in I the retract. thingy. She probably was not in this. She probably wasn't looking. It's at the that. thingy. It's also it's the first movie she's ever seen. Unfortunately, that's a well, real she, thing. she she really didn't see it. But getting lucky, my daughter's not in it, but Trevor's in it, and he comes in his own mouth. Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus. So watch a clip. What a, what a skilled man. Poor Trevor, you did it. Oh, yeah, wait in line. Oh, just whip Whoa. this box right here. Hey, ladies. I didn't well, see you here. When is that look going to come back? The the t-shirt that doesn't fit in the short shorts. We can bring it back whenever we want, Jack. Well, the short shorts come back oh. anytime Gavin goes swimming. <laughs> did you see that? No, what? what just happened? The guy, look, look at the like, right side of camera. Clearly, the extra was supposed to walk off frame and just vanish. And he's like, oh, shit. Like, hang on, you'll see it. Does so. he go back? All right, so he leaves. He's like, all right, cool, leaving. And this is me gone. Boy, where she gets around fast. Keep watching the right side. And he's like, yep, it's supposed to be off camera. Well, you and me get together sometimes. The shot of, oh, 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 nope, not done. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Maybe he's actually still gone. standing there. I'm getting extra screen time. <laughs> Dude, that episode, the ice. that episode is so good. I cannot trust that enough. That is the that is Jack's pinnacle. That, of he's so awesome. That guy taking his shirt off and like the main cheerleader talking to him. They end up literally leaving the school. They're like, all right, let's get out of here. They walk out the door and he's like, hey baby, let's fuck. And they start like almost fucking like six feet from the exit of the door. It's like they walk out and then he's like, I'm gonna fuck you right here. I Basically, have a, you're saying you they predicted how Tinder would work. Kind of. I have a story related to this. Okay. I worked as a waiter for a cocktail. And a cocktail. And a cocktail but, uh, for, so for a long time, I worked uh, two years at one How restaurant, long? or like a like year and a half years. at one restaurant. That's not that long. And then like a year and a half or two years at another restaurant. Okay. So, so that is long. Like, but they're both chain. They're both chain restaurants. The second one I worked was at a macaroni grill, and um, they're hard. 
You never heard of macaroni grill? No. Oh, well, uh, the, the, so like, uh, we have, do we have those services? It's in the, yeah, it's that's, in, that's where we all had that moment where it's like, yeah, they're, they're, they're owned by the same really people as yeah. like, uh, like Chili's. A, Oh, okay. They're all by the same people. Like, uh, so it's oh, just like the West Coast. It's, like by, it's literally it's owned by the same people. The Carabas, have you heard of Carabas? No. No. Uh, Do they have Outback Steakhouse? Yes. Say the same if it's not in San Francisco, on the blue blue and onions. Onions. on the border, the blue and onions. The blue and onions are really good. On the border? Do you know on the border? I have no idea what that is. Where did you go for Italian? That was the first place I went. Olive Garden. Because when you're there, you're family. Yeah, Carabas is basically Olive Garden. It's Boo to Becco. Boo to Becco. I've never heard so, of that one. So, anyways, okay. I was working at uh, the Macaroni Grill. Like, okay. I was a waiter there Where? for a while. And the um, macro. macro. There was two people that were sitting in the bar, and like, so they the don't way gr- they don't grill macaroni there, by the way. No, okay. there's okay. no grilled macaroni. Okay. It's not a thing. I was to say. Um, so. You know, it's like the, the way it works in a restaurant oh. is everybody has their own section of tables bad, that they get to, sure. and then like the bar area, like they take care of all the drinks for all the tables, you know, all the alcoholic dr- beverages, but they also have their own tables that they get to as well. The bar tables, yeah. The bar tables. That's where the open seating is. Too. Right, they're just like, oh, you, there's, you know, you have to wait an hour for this, or you can just see if something opens up the or bar. Or you can just punch exactly. someone in the face and take the table. Pretty much. Yes. <laughs> so, there was, this, there was this couple sitting at the bar, and they were there for quite a while, and, you know, I'm, I'm tending to my own table, so I, I'm not really obviously paying attention to what's going on in the bar or anything. And it gets close to the end of the night, which means things are slowing down. There's only a couple of tables left. I'm just getting to these last tables. And so a couple of the waiters are, like, kind of hanging around the bar. And we're just, like, talking to each other and stuff. And, um, you know, until we're, like, we got to go check on our tables and whatever. And this table gets up from the bar and leaves. And they go out with the side door. And there's, like, this kind of patio that goes along the front of the restaurant and along the side of the restaurant where there's a couple extra tables so you can like sit outside if you want. Mm -hmm. But it was winter in New England, no one was sitting outside. And they get up, they leave, because they've paid and everything, and they go around the side, and the guy, they start making out on the side of the building, and the guy like puts the girl on top of like the cooler that's outside that we use like if people are sitting outside, we have like water stored in there so we can like pour water for the tables and stuff. She's sitting on that and the guy is making out with her and her legs are around him and he's like humping her, <laughs> but like they're just right there. And all the waiters and the bartenders, we're just sitting there like kind of looking at it and we're like, are they just fucking, are they humping right now? And we're like, they, yeah, they're, they're humping. Really they're like, where you just can't see, like from the outside. No, it was, it was blatantly obvious that we're all like, just like, she was like making eye contact with you. I mean, <laughs> she's into it, I guess. And we're like, should someone go say something? I mean, like, this probably isn't Problem. a good thing. Like, go outside and cheer. It doesn't sound hygienic for the, yeah, the cool over there on. Right. We're like, someone should probably go say something. And I'm like, I literally, I just went, I mean, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going out there. Fuck that. And like, I eventually went back to my table. And um, I guess the bartender went out and was like, Guys, can you stop humping on our cooler? Get down. <laughs> like, like, please get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, they want to have to go fuck in their car or whatever, I guess. But I was just like, it was like, literally the guy was like thrusting at a girl on a cooler, making out outside the restaurant. Like, just in the middle of Burlington, Massachusetts, on a macaroni grill. Be, it's like, that's romantic. I expected heads. this to be like a window next to a family of five, and the kids were just like, Oh, yeah, right, like, well, thank God it was next to the bar. Like if it was next to the actual, it's like Jesus Christ. I re- I remember because um, I live in often. I live in San Francisco and my uh, I moved. He up, loves it. I moved up my girlfriend from L. A. And we're like, okay, you know, like Keeps we're out, we had dinner, lunch. we want to get like frisky, whatnot. And I was like, all right, let's go to Golden Gate Park. It's like a big ass park in San Francisco. And we're sitting there and there's a bunch of like little black shadows running around. And then my girlfriend Jackie goes. Are those kids running? It's like two in two in the morning. She's like, "Are those kids running around?" I'm like, "No, those aren't like one foot kids running around the park at one a.m. in the morning. Those are skunks, like just running around. Oh, oh. That's worse." We didn't get sprayed, so thank God. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> Let me clarify. But I love how her mind instantly went to like, "What are these kids like running around like the cults of kids running around like one a.m. in the morning?" They're gonna the park. fucking kill you. Is yeah, that's exactly. What's gonna happen like if they were the corn if shit. there were kids, it would yeah, it would have ran away. I feel yeah. like the, that was the setup of the story for, and the family was torn apart by skunks that night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a new girlfriend now. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't make it out of there. What uh, What's the story with that bouncy ball over there? 
Oh, Jeff. Oh, was oh, Jeff I, was I had it, practicing. and I was rolling it in my hand for the entirety of the podcast, and I gave it to Jeff when I had oh. to go to the bathroom, and I said, don't throw it. And then he and then, put Of it course, in my obviously. Hand. It took him like seven minutes. But did he throw it? I don't know. I wasn't he bounced here. It. He bounced it. How, did he keep picking it I up? Feel, I feel like yeah, that's I kept counts it. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Well, I feel like that was an exciting, meaty podcast. That was a long podcast. It was yeah. Long. It was in 44 you minutes. You can see how many Woo. people and broadcasts are dead. <laughs> yeah, they did. Uh, was that the longest one? Not no. nearly the worst thing no. we've done. Have, have you done a three hour one? I, oh, I yeah. think it happened when I wasn't here. We've, we've definitely. I know for a fact, hours. like, I, I was gone for something and Jeff's like, we set the record. It was like over three hours. Damn. Yeah. So. Fuck. Well, let's not do that today. No, yeah. we're not. But, yeah. But thanks. For watching this, if you watched oh, it, what's my credit? Thanks for checking out uh, first week on YouTube. If you watched it, oh, I got it. Okay, well, it was weird you, that you touched me, but you guys were I, having I, me. I, I was like, "Why the fuck? Who's touching me?" All right, <laughs> yeah. fair enough. I also think we're getting sent. <laughs> no, it was, it was a good reason. Yeah. Like, if he touched me for no reason, it'd be weird. No, well, thank reason. you guys for having me. Uh, thank you guys for signing me. And yeah, uh, I didn't do shit. I want to make again. the community proud. So if you have any issues, I'm just, just here. Just reach out to me. I'll talk to you directly. Like, he was an affirmative action hire, don't, though. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't open yourself up to that. The community will come for you. Oh, you're, I know they will come for me, it. and like, it's all come for me. <laughs> Bring it on. Uh, hey, nah, that's nice. Watch the post show. We do that. It's like this show, but it's short afterwards. And it's yeah. only video. Drunk cut, less live. Very All much true. And no and, stools. And Jack breaks more than ever. On right, that but show. he's not here. He's not so here today. Yeah, not here. But he generally, Apple, right? yeah. He did, yeah. Next week is Moonshine Jack. Ooh. No, no. So we'll see how that goes. Ooh. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, I didn't have like a good credit for you. I just gave you like a classic. Okay. I'm ready so for like, it. Uh, I just thought, like, is it Hitler was all right again? No, 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 no. I just thought, like, <laughs> just good old classic Gavin. All right, Lee. Bye, everyone. Get out. <laughs>